come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. This is a movie book club kind of podcast where a movie is chosen every week. By the internet radio superstars, we watch it together, then we throw it on the table and pounce on it like a pack of wild animals. Wow. That sounded about right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like wild giant spiders, we just attack <laughs> Yep. Yeah. So who are these internet aforementioned internet radio superstars? Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by... Sean! What did we watch tonight? It. And last night. It. Yeah. <laughs> it and it. It and it. All the it's. All the it's. Well, most of the it's. We watch most, most of the it's. Most of the Big pile of it. All the so Enough of the we're it's. we're watching the 1990 TV movie version of it. Yes. But we also went on a freak show field trip. Field trip. Mm. And saw the 2017 it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, a word of warning. We are assuming that was the horror event of the year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. 2017. For sure. Yeah, by the time this comes out, it's a week after the movie's out. You should have seen you it by should have now. Seen and it. it will have made $100 million at this Probably. point. Last night, it made $13.5 million. It's pre- yeah, it's projected Opening to night, do $100 yeah, million this weekend. It's going to make a lot of money. Yeah. It is, deal. It is broken... <laughs> The seven box record. office yeah, records. Record. I have yeah. a list of all the records that probably broke. It's break broke. The yeah. record. Yep, it's broken oh, seven it? records already. Uh, gonna. Okay, so I guess we need to preface this by we are assuming at this point that you uh, have seen the 2017 it because yeah. we're going to talk about all its uh, here the book, the two movies, yeah. uh, and so uh, the fair warning. So in the meantime, uh, we want you to uh, write to us if you have any questions or comments about tonight's show or anything else that you've heard us do. You can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You can follow us on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And we'd appreciate it if you would also follow us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. And check out our Instagram right now. When this is airing, you will be able to enter a contest. To win some it souvenirs, yeah. yeah. What? We got a swag. What? No, no Sean. Oh, no, Sean. Okay. You cannot. <laughs> well, we're giving away cool stuff. Don't tell him Igor's like guarding the, the, the oh, merchandise. Shit. I guess that makes so, sense. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Igor's guarding the prize vault. He's just so. back, back going, <laughs> This is really cool. This is the first time we've done like a contest. Mm-hmm. Freak well, show giveaway. Actually, it's not. We did it one did really it early on, that, uh, but nobody was listening well. to us at that point. <laughs> yeah. Now you folks so are actually five listening to people that are listening to us yeah. could get something. <laughs> That's right. It swag. Okay, so uh, it. Uh, yeah. So this uh, the story has become like a, like an American tradition at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. The original novel was written by Stephen King in the year 1985. It was one of the biggest books, I think, that uh, he had ever written. Very large. (laughs) Yeah. One of the biggest or like the biggest because it's fucking huge. Well, I can't remember if the stand. The stand might be a little longer. But that may have been reissued Mm -hmm. after it with the longer version. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It feels like that came out afterwards. They're both books big enough you could beat someone to death with them. So. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Definitely take up some space. <laughs> the book is a deadly weapon. It's like 1,100 pages. And this was, Stephen King said it was going to be his final exam on the horror genre. That was how he advertised it. He was going to take everything that he knew about horror and put it all in one big-ass book. And that was going to be it? And that was going to be it. You know, that, that explains a lot. I'm reading it right now, and it feels like someone writing their senior thesis that has to make a word count. That's what it feels yeah. like. It's like, and I'll just stretch this out for a couple more pages. The professor won't even read this, so. <laughs> but it's so good. Yeah. Is that your first time going through it? Yes, it is. Okay, so. Are you reading or are you listening? I am audiobook listening. Uh, it is. Cheaters? More, it is more of a chore that way, I would say. It is. <laughs> Wait, you reading the? the I'm, I'm struggling. To the, is it the original one or the Stephen Weber? Read it's the one? Stephen Weber one. Hey, that's pretty good. It is good. Oh, yeah. It is good, but good. I'm. Mm-hmm. He like, acts the parts out. Yeah, which is which is great. <laughs> except a stutter is really annoying to listen to in an audiobook. So better or worse <laughs> oh, than yeah. uh, Richard Thomas's? Better. Okay. Yeah. Well. Better. <laughs> 
<laughs> Richard Thomas is the actor who plays Stuttering Bill in the 90s TV version. Mm-hmm. To be fair, we only watched the first half tonight. Very true. The chapter enough. one, as it were, we'll say now mm-hmm. that we've mm-hmm. also watched chapter one of the new It. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's, I guess, the thing. The new It um, had the idea of just focusing on the, because the book is famously about, you know, these kids and the adult counterparts. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the narrative is woven together. Back and forth. All throughout the, and I believe that the climax. Happens uh, simultaneously in the book. Right. So they're going back and forth because they end up going back down to the sewers as kids and as adults. So it just flips back and forth between those. Mm -hmm. And later on, the thoughts of it in the book. Fascinating. That's right. It has its own chapter. What? It oh, yeah. does. It talks. Yeah, I'm the only cool. one not so familiar with... Oh, there is a turtle. There is a turtle. <laughs> now, when you said that, I was just like, that's not a turtle, but there is a turtle. Mm-hmm. It did look like the belly of a turtle. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Turns out it was spider abs. Yeah, yeah. spider abs. <laughs> Blowing spider abs. In the original, the but, uh, wonderful, like, uh, <laughs> anima- or not anima- stop motion spider yeah. that... Uh, oh. Moves very slowly. So I'm yeah. the only one that's not familiar with the book. Yes. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I had homework. You should read, Sorry. With the book. You should read the book. It's a good book. I should. I should read it. It's a very good book. And I went one step further than you guys. I read the uh, the discarded draft for the Carrie Fukunaga directed oh. version. I read that as well. Oh, you too. did? I okay. was not All right. So there we yes. go. <laughs> I read it today. I was like, oh, I'm glad this is not the movie I watched. <laughs> but it's <laughs> close. Different. Yeah. Because I, when I read that, I was like, oh, man, they're like really off. The, for you who don't know, um, Carrie Fukunaga was the director of uh, True Detective, mm-hmm. I guess. Was, yeah. Was Yep. most known for and he was attached to do the big bu- budget studio version of it and which he made and- us all because this was after uh, True, De- uh, True Detective had come out and so we were all just like oh Carrie Fukunaga is going to do it yeah awesome yes, True Detective season one is amazing yeah mm-hmm. bring it on we were all very excited very about excited that. Mm-hmm. and they had even cast their Pennywise yeah the one Will kid. Will Poulter yeah which which I am glad I'm that glad that they pe- I'm glad he dropped off I'm gl- it, yeah. I don't know that might I was okay with that cast I was like he could do it what was that movie he was in with Jennifer Aniston we're, we're the Millers we're, we're the Millers yeah. right okay. he looks like he could do evil he does he, he just, does just because he has a weird face doesn't but mean you can fine. do evil like he that's the thing he was in the Revenant too oh, oh that's he right. was yeah, yeah. He yeah. The conscience that's right yeah Right. Yeah, that's right. And he left to do other things. Yes. Yeah. And then everything so. started kind of falling apart. Mm-hmm. So Andy uh, Mush- Muschietti, Muschietti, director mm-hmm. of Mama, came on board, and they re- significantly rewrote it. Now, what did you? Uh, okay, so the the, I guess that's the thing that you know you, you from having read the book. Yeah. It's like how do you condense that novel into either a two part TV miniseries or like a two hour movie. Like uh, maybe if we can discuss the, the two different approaches. Yeah. I mean, I, I think they, the basic line that you see in it is adults and kids. Like that's the easiest place to cut this thing. You just have to, I mean, it's interwoven in the book and it's interwoven in the 1990 series. Um, in the new one, it's just straight kids. Through the whole thing, no adults. Um, it's a, the, it's linear storytelling yeah. instead of mm-hmm. flashbacks and right, flash forwards. And yeah, that. I'm sure we'll get flashbacks in chapter two, mm-hmm. which whenever that comes out, and you get it in the second part of the miniseries as well. But that seems to be the easiest line where to cut it. Just put the kids in, and then do the adults later. Mm-hmm. What was your question? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I guess that's what I'm trying to. You know, like there. Personally, when I the last time I read the novel, which was when they announced that they were going to do this, yeah. I reread it again. And to me, like the moments that actually didn't play as strongly as I thought that they were going to was the horror moments. It was like all the stuff with these kids, you know, and these adults was, you know, interesting. Mm. And then when you'd read these, like, and then Pennywise turns into a a werewolf or he turns into the mummy or the Frankenstein monster, Dracula with a mouthful of razor blades and yeah. Or blood sucking leeches that fly, whatever they were later on in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or a giant pterodactyl. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say the pterodactyl that chases Mike in that field. Yeah. Yeah. A giant bird. What? Thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's there afraid of like what? what is it? Rodan <laughs> from Godzilla that he's afraid yeah, of, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's what chases him. Chases him to yeah. a pipe. They just yeah. hanging out there, just, just cr- smashed everything in there, didn't they? Well, mm-hmm. it's just it manifests, wow. you know, in whatever you're afraid of. So, yeah. you, which is, there's a lot of room so to they play cover there, everything. So. But that's the cool thing about it yeah. that it finds everything that they're afraid of, and yeah. then for each person, it's very specific, which is what I really liked about the book. What would yours be, Sean? Uh. 
While he's thinking, to, anyone? Think of the office. Spiders. Wait. Women. And spider Maybe women. <laughs> women. Spider women. Spider women. That's a callback. Michaela. Oh, God. Mine episode. would probably be the, okay, so in 2017, Heights. it, there's, there's a kid that they need to grab right now and cast in another movie because he looks exactly like Richie Ramirez, the guy that plays Patrick Hockstetter. Did you guys uh, not think he looked like a dead ringer for fucking the Night Stalker? Like, uh, Adam Driver. He does. He does. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to cast Adam Driver. He does like, look like Adam Driver. But he's dead, so I guess But, yeah, but my, yeah, Adam Driver. <laughs> yeah, he's a dead ringer for fucking Richie Ramirez, but that's yeah. who mine, mine would manifest as like real life like murderers and serial killers that like that be, for yeah. sure. Probably, or... A He's the life, right a age life for Michael it. Myers. Mine would be Michael Myers, yeah. basically. Yeah. That's what would happen. Michael Myers coming after me. That would be uh, my big mm-hmm. <laughs> So it would be, and this is, I guess, the thing, too. The, is, the new movie updates the setting yeah. from the 1950s that the book and the miniseries take place yeah. and updates it to 1989. So I guess the idea that like kids in 1989 are not going to be afraid of you know the old universal monsters. No. Right. They'd be afraid of Freddy Krueger. Right. It would have been so fun if they had done stuff like that. Licensing. That's why they can't. <sighs> I, I know. know. But it was from the same studio. New Line. Yeah, yeah. it's New Line and Warner yeah. Brothers. Like, they could have done it. Like, that's the, that's kind of like the fun I wish they would do nowadays. Because something like yeah. that would just be fucking fun and everyone was, would love that. The theater would go nuts it's if something the, like that happened. Yeah, it's supposed to be the 80s. It would have been perfect. It would have been great. Been perfect. Mm-hmm. It would have been great. The movie marquee even has the thing for Nightmare on Elm Street 5. This is what yeah. I'm saying. Like, they they do is, a close up on that too. They, do. they yeah. don't hide that. That would be such a memorable thing for that new movie to do something like that. <laughs> It'd be surprising to everybody. I wish they'd done it. I'm disappointed they did. I am uh, biased, I guess, because I read a review that suggested this. Uh, One of the reviews said that, you know, he was trying to figure out why the new movie kind of felt like had this kind of familiarity about it. Then he said, I saw the the marquee in the film, you know, for Nightmare on Elm Street 5. And he's like, ah, I got it. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Is the new Pennywise an analogy to Freddy Krueger. I ask this because there's like, there are multiple scenes in mm-hmm. boiler rooms, in bathrooms where stuff comes out of drains. And I'm like, this is just like a nightmare sequence mm-hmm. in the nightmare on Elm street movies. In fact, like even uh, toward the end, Pennywise and his lair was very much like the kids ganging up on Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Did any of you also get that? Mm-mm. No, Not I never, I, that never, that. Yeah. never crossed my mind. Yeah, I, I see what you're, I absolutely see what you're saying, but yeah. it didn't cross my mind until now. Yeah, no. no, not at all. Except you don't have to fall asleep in order for this guy, right? To come yeah, he's just kind of there all the time. Mm-hmm. This is contrasted with the 1990s one where I didn't get that vibe at all. No. I guess maybe we should talk about the, the the differences in Pennywise. Is there a difference between you know, or the way he's portrayed in the book, the 1990s movie, and the the remake? There's. Well, I mean, like costume wise, there's a huge difference between like like uh like your 1990s Pennywise is very like Bozo the Clown, whereas mm-hmm. Bill Skarsgård's Pennywise in like 2017 is like t- yeah, is like a very like you mm-hmm. know like 1800s yeah, yeah like kind of jester-y kind like of. yeah court jester clown almost yeah it's but like Love he violates thing. a lot of like basic clown like laws why they say laws with like yeah. quotes because I don't know etiquette. what they're called yeah. clown etiquette yeah, clown etiquette, yeah. Like, I was like I don't know their laws but like like you're not supposed to put sharp lines or points on your face and yeah. that's all he has on his face is sh- and the other famous clown who did that was John Wayne Gacy yes. had sharp lines and points right. on his face you know yeah. you're not supposed to do it because it's scary it's scary for kids so yeah I thought that, that was an interesting has choice has that always been clown etiquette or is that recent yeah. clown etiquette no that's like Pre like that's like nineteen forties fifties clown right. etiquette so mm-hmm. like early Ringling Brothers mm-hmm. like the yeah. original yeah. clowns yes. kind of yeah show. yeah mm-hmm. okay so well, yeah can't the, scare kids the idea well I, maybe you know, this is what we're going for here like the uh, the the idea that I had from the way that Pennywise was set up in the book and in the nineteen nineties version is that he looks like a clown in order to get cl- kids to come close to him mm-hmm. so he can right. attack them right yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I had a problem. Colin's big problem. Well, I, I think my, but that problem has been solved okay. after seeing the movie. But the the impression I had from the trailers from the new movie was that like this looks like a demented all fucking evil all the yeah. time. And yeah. why would anybody go near him? Right. But once you see the movie, it's like they don't really play the idea that he's trying to entice him. It no. just looks like a clown. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good yeah. point. The the, the initial trailers, yeah. the initial meeting there there's something slightly enticing you know his his eyes are blue he's he's looking slightly less menacing yeah but after that 
It's like no, no holds barred. Game on at that yeah, point. no like, fucks hey, given. Yeah. My eyes glow. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm in all the creepy places. Yeah, they're not trying to be like, ah, I'm fun for kids. It's not a theme <laughs> for this one. Yeah. yeah. So, fun fact: Did you guys know that, like, so when Bill Skarsgård's eyes like look in opposite directions and then come together like that, he can actually do that. That's not CGI. That's his oh, really? actual eyes. No. He, he did that in his audition, and they were like, "What? You can actually do that?" And yeah, he like, put the context in and did it. And yeah, they. Yeah, that's his I mean, based on that alone, that. I would hire him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually Jesus. wondering. I was actually wondering if it's that was It's not CGI, that was real, it's cause, real. Because yeah. his eyes are pretty wonky. So yeah. It's like, he's got some. Uh, yeah. 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 He's a unique awesome. looking individual, that's he for is. sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has a lot of severe bone structure. So He used to be on Hemlock Grove. Yes. Uh, the Netflix TV show. Mm-hmm. He was briefly an atomic blonde, but like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, that's Bill Sarsgaard mm-hmm. in the background going through this. Yes, the Sarsgaard's the new Baldwin's. Mm-hmm. Pretty much Sarsgaard. even more. Recent than that, I can't recall. There's something it seems like that he's been in. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, the so Tim Curry's performance then is more like I mean, even watching it tonight, like he's going for more like uh, he is more a dancing clown, it feels like. Yeah, he's going for the bozo. He seems feel. so lethargic in comparison to the 2017 version. He's it's smart. so he's, subdued. He was just offset going, <sighs> yeah, <sighs> pretty much. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm a clown. He's, 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 he's crusty. crusty. He's crusty off. the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what I feel he was. Have you seen that picture of him on the set yes. with the raincoat and the umbrella, yeah. smoking a cigarette yes. in the yeah. it costume? It's so great. I love yeah, the when they started uh, when they were announced they were making this movie and everything. All the old pictures of Tim Curry sitting on set, yeah, smoking, up yep. constantly smoking, mm-hmm. having the time of his life playing a clown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who knew? Mm-hmm. Love Tim Curry. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he definitely seems like he's more. Might be more enticing to children his portrayal until you know he that look away and then back with the teeth mm. is always a big yeah. thing for him and he gets the contacts for the yellow eyes and everything which mm. i like i like the yellow eyed contacts that works for me i wish we'd seen like uh, more of that in in the new one like especially when georgie shows up because there's a lot of cgi in the new one um especially when uh georgie shows back up in the basement and he's like you'll float too and he's mm-hmm. yelling at his brother oh yeah mm-hmm. the, his that party would looked really bad i thought did, I that like part the did idea not of what they're doing yeah but i'm just like okay cgi i would have liked it better if it was just like i'm always up for like just the slow subtle changes yeah i yeah. want that vampire change was just eyes and maybe enhanced cheekbones and teeth and stuff like yeah. that mm-hmm. like a little bit of that would have been cool yeah. they pushed it too far kid. for their budget in i that feel scene. like they did like they could have just done subtlety like mm-hmm. you know it's mm-hmm. it's basically the essence of his brother but it's inhabited by Pennywise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A full on fucking monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think they could have been a little more subtle with those things but Yeah. I liked the idea of what they were trying to do but yeah, yeah. the execution was not good of, of yeah. it. But. Yeah. Well they did an interesting thing in the in the newer movie that the, uh, the older movie couldn't do. Uh. Um, there's descriptions of Pennywise in the book where like he it's like he's almost not necessarily like vaporous or liquid, somehow fluid mm-hmm. as he's between shapes, right? Yeah. The idea being that Pennywise is a, some kind of mental projection, basically, that this thing is, uh, you know, living beneath the sewers of Derry, Maine and projecting up onto the, the surface. Yeah. So it's not really him. It's a projection. I got through the visual effects and all that. I got that kind of that sensation more in the the new version mm-hmm. because they do these weird things where like his head stays anchored to the camera, yeah. but the backgrounds yeah. are like <laughs> yeah, they're moving and everything. Especially yeah. like later on when he's dancing. When he's dancing, mm-hmm. that yeah. was just like I, that was off putting. I found that, that was, to be incredibly whoa. disturbing scene, yeah. and I was, could not explain why it was. It was just like made yeah. my skin. It was crawl. creepy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, if they just lock onto his head and everything else is. Twisting around and moving. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. But is that the impression that it gave you, or am I reading too much into this? Because I was, you know, bringing something up from the, the a description I'd heard in the book. Maybe because I don't feel like my feelings on the new one are that it's not as. Um, it doesn't feel as I guess magic as the book and the maybe even more so the older movie, but as the book describes him to be, it doesn't feel like there's. Um, it feels less like he's a force in the new movie to me. It feels less like he's a force really? to me. I yeah. thought he felt very fluid. He was like he everywhere could, yeah. all the time. Like he could yeah. be anywhere at any any time. Like he was omnipresent. He was, exa- it was crazy. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I guess. Well, there was an idea too in the book that uh, you know, like the adults didn't seem to see uh, things. Um, mm-hmm. in, they touch on it in the movie. There's a scene. 
the the new film where uh, the bullies are um, attacking Ben by a bridge, and this car drives by, and the adults just kind of look blankly and drive past. In the book, it's suggested that somehow Pennywise is also able to, like, once you're over a certain age, cloud your mind so you just don't actually, you're not aware of a lot of stuff. You're not aware of it? You're just kind of dead to it. Yeah, or you're walking away, turning your back on it, basically. Because yeah. a lot of and the book describes everybody is just looking the other way, basically. And the movie like kind of illustrates this mm-hmm. by having like a balloon pop up in the car even as it's driving away, which I guess suggests it's like there's the presence of Pennywise somehow. Yeah, you know, He's influencing I, the whole yeah. town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the town. I like especially that. in the book. Like the town is bad. Mm-hmm. Like the town is there's just something not right about the town. Yeah. Even and everybody in the new movies like everyone's just a little bit creepy. Yeah, like the pharmacist just a little. Yeah, I, mean, bit I looked at you everyone's and I was like, little... "Why is everyone in this town horrible?" Yeah, well, um, that's what I said. Yeah. That, that's the town. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what it's supposed to be. Everyone's just kind of a little malevolent. Nobody's kind of like good people, except for you know the losers club mm-hmm. as they gather together. Right. Yeah, which is a little more of a simplification of the novel, but I think you know the idea comes across right that there's no one else to rely on except mm. yourself. Yeah. For these kids, um, you know, I mean, the older film. Does give you know people seem relatively normal, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's a the Irish cop, and you know the everybody has you know their parents aren't as done to the extreme. Yeah. I mean, uh, not to the extreme, but I mean, there's still the overbearing protective mother and the abusive father. Yeah. They're still there. Several just, abusive fathers. Yeah, it's just not as dialed up as the new movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Even the police at the beginning of the 90s version, they were just kind of like, don't worry about it. All right, we got this. There's nothing weird going on here. Shit just happens. Mm -hmm. So in the 2017 version, when we were first introduced to Beverly Beverly Marsh in the bathroom, did you guys think when the bullies poured that watery garbage on her that, like, you could smell that and it made you like sick a little bit. Like wasn't when they poured nice. that garbage yeah. on her, I was like, oh, like I almost gagged a little bit. I was like, I <laughs> yeah. was, oh, like I was, that watery, nasty garbage. They I was dumped literally on her. like in my head, I'm like, it's just paper towels. It's just yeah, paper towels. I was like, no, no, yeah. that's the girls' bathroom. So there's tampons and stuff in there. I don't know why I feel like that's dirtier, like, but oh, yeah, that's uh, yeah. like it's got to be, oh, God. Yeah. No, I was like, <laughs> no. just that, well, and like, pre- you know, way to go, prop master. Like it looked disgusting. Well, yeah. Yeah, it did. It did. Like, yeah, it's a good thing. And it just there. kept coming. Like, you thought it was done, and it just kept coming. It even had those horrible brown paper towels that schools have. Yeah. 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 Jesus. Ugh. God. <laughs> Gross. I forgot we didn't actually mention who directed the 1990 version. Oh, Tommy Lee Wallace. What do we know him from? Uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. That also poor known, bastard. Uh, that poor or bastard. that motherfucker. Eh. I mean, no, he did it to uh, us. So. Uh, he's the savior. He brought it on us. It's, it's his fault, really. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, he also did Fright Night Part 2. Mm-hmm. And he was Michael Myers in the closet scene in the original Halloween. Yes. And I believe he also did the Stephen King miniseries, The Tommy Knockers, true or false? Yeah, don't I know. I think so. Sure. Oh, sure he did. And it was written by Lawrence D. Cohen, who also had spent time in the Stephen King trenches. He wrote Carrie prior to this and Ghost mm. Story, one of my favorite movies. But I guess, you know, because I'm still going back to like how these different writers approached cracking this this story. Yeah. Right. The idea that, uh, well, I guess the, the one that like, th- that's kind of sticking with me is I looked at the Fukunaga's draft or it was him and Chase yeah, Palmer. I think. Good. Yeah. Like Pennywise in that script, which I guess they were, you know, this was what we were, they were going to go with mm-hmm. rarely speaks and rarely shape shifts like hardly at all. So yeah, what, he just shows does, up what in does like he a, do? And just looks yeah. around, and that's yeah. it. Really? It, like, you guys got to read this script outline. It is, it is shocking how bland it is. Like, yeah. especially coming from Fukunaga, you know, you're like, okay, this is going to be great. This is yeah. going to be, like, really dark and really, you know, explore some uncomfortable things. And you read it, and you're just like, oh, all mm-hmm. right, well. Okay, not what I expected. it's missing significant portions of the book, which is what Muschietti and his writing partner, it's a Gary somebody, Dauberman, I Mm -hmm. think. Yeah. They went and put back things that you expect from the the novel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, the rock fight wasn't in there. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't in the, yeah. the original really? script. Yeah, the apocalyptic rock That's fight. That's such How an important that? scene. The rock fight. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, the leper wasn't in the original Fukunaga script nope. at all either. Yeah, yeah. certain things. There was, uh, like, if I remember, there's in his draft there was a because uh, what Travis Travis kids? Bowers, uh, not yeah. Henry Bowers, mm-hmm. drives a uh, oh, and Bill doesn't stutter. And, and yeah, his name is Will. 
Yeah. 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 Well, what's the point? I change what is the point of that? So many stupid what's things like point? that that make no sense. Yeah. Wasn't there a chase scene involving like on the Fourth of July yeah. with uh, firecrackers yep. or something? It was firecrackers instead of a rock fight. Yeah. And they end up chasing him like Stan's bar mitzvah or something with like the fact that Stan is Jewish and is going to this bar mitzvah is a big section of mm-hmm. the uh of the Fukunaga draft yeah and i'm like i mean I'll, not that this isn't I- interesting in its own way but it's like why would you steer so far away from the source material exactly you know and still think that this is going to be something yeah. that you know and there are still people out there that st- that like are saying this movie's garbage and Fukunaga's would have been better and i'm just what? like guys we 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 know what it would have been and it it would not have been better like I mean, granted, we haven't read a full script. We've only seen, you know, bullet points and outlines and stuff. But from what I've read, I'm like, ugh, I'm glad we didn't go with this. Mm-hmm. He did manage to solve, I guess, like uh, primarily, I think at least for the first two thirds of the, the 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 movie, the structure is v- basically Fukunaga's idea mm-hmm. or him and, you know, Chase Palmer and his yeah. writer. I think like a lot of the scenes and setup are there, but they're expanded upon more information is put in from the novel, you know, to balance that out. Um, but I think at least, cause I think the entire third act is completely different. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah. It's, it's shocking how different it is. And it's, it's crazy to think we almost had that instead mm-hmm. of what we have now. So, and granted that was probably like a first draft or whatever, but, um, but still, sure. yeah. I suppose it was for the 1990s version. Uh, you know, like the idea that if you're going to do this in two nights, you need to bring it to some kind of uh, climax at the end of the first, the first two hours. Yeah. So they move up the first time, first confrontation with it from the end of the book to the middle of the story. Right. Um, and which they, I mean, they, it's, it's, it is, and they're still doing that even in the new one. It's just like if, if the new one, cause it's going to be a part two, but if it was that, like that big fight with the kids and it, would be considered the middle mm-hmm. of the two. So, like, mm-hmm. that's where they're putting everything. Because you need that, like you said, that big confrontation, and you don't necessarily get that until, obviously, the end. So they got to move something up, and, like, that's the big one. Mm-hmm. That seems to be easy dividing line. Have the kids put it down first, and then go back to adults. Which movie seems to nail the um, the kid... Ca- Let's see. What am I trying to go at here? The kid like, killing? No, the, the characters of the kids... As they are in the novel, which version do you think got closer to capturing the spirit of of who those characters were? From what little I've read, the 2017 one for sure. These characters just feel so flat in the 1990 ones. I have no, I know nothing about them in the 1990 version. I think for certain characters, I mean, it's just... Also, there's certain things they can do in the new movie that they obviously couldn't do in the miniseries. Like uh, Finn Wolfhard, who plays you know Richie Tozier in the new one. I mean, he can do so much more in that movie than uh, Seth Green could in the 1990 series. You're saying just by swearing, just by virtue of yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's a big thing, but that it's, it's, a, it's a hard R. But, like that's a hard, hard R. R but, but, and I'm not usually like swearing doesn't automatically equal funny for me, but he uses it well. They use it yeah, well in that jokes. movie. They sound like 13 year olds. Like right. that's how 13 year olds talk. Well in that movie. I mean, I didn't read the book, but he's way funnier in the new movie. Yeah, oh, yeah way, way funnier. funnier. Yeah. Um, but I th- uh, there's certain characters I think maybe get it closer in the 1990s version. I think I like that. Like who? Maybe that Bill is better, I think, because it feels like, I don't know, in the book, which I don't think they do in the 2017 movie too much, he is more like the leader of the group. He's Big Bill. Like, that's who that's who he is in the book, and it feels more like he's that in the uh, 1990s one. He doesn't quite feel like the leader of that group, or it's someone that everyone else in the group looks up to. Like, I don't get that feeling from that in the new one. Even they, they gave all... that, like, whole speech on the doorstep about why we need to go inside and, like, go on the you whole know, thing. You like... know what I was missing there? Because I was actually sitting there waiting for him to say one key phrase, mm-hmm. which I think is in the novel and this movie. It's like, I'm going to kill it. Mm. Yeah. And then, you know, help me. And then they go with him. It's like, so I was waiting for him to say, I'm going to kill this thing because it killed my brother. Yeah. The new movie makes an odd choice where a few little he doesn't choices. believe that his brother is dead. Yeah. 
because mm-hmm. the body gets taken away in mm-hmm. the novel and uh, and, and the this one as movie. well. Like, yeah, they find him. Georgie is dead. He gets yeah. his mm-hmm. yeah, arm bitten off, and then he is dead. So in the, the novel, is Bill immediately the leader of the group? Because I mean, it seems like they they kind of come together one by one in the story. Is that how it is in the book? In like the novel, it, which you can do obviously better in a book because obviously you have all that time and space to do it. But it's there's this feeling that everyone else in the group has that Bill knows what to do. Like mm-hmm. he's the one they look to to mm-hmm. just do the. Do he's the their thing. idea man, basically. Yeah, for and he knows like he's the guy they can look up to. It's like Bill, like. What do we do? And he's mm-hmm. he always he knows what to do. He leads them. He knows when like other people in the group you know need to lead them at a certain point. Like he's the guy they turn to. He is their mm-hmm. the he's the strong point in that. He's Big Bill, which mm-hmm. doesn't come across in the new one at all. I agree with with that in mind. I would say that Jonathan Brandis version g- comes across like that a lot more. Yeah. For sure. He seems a little more, I don't know tortured in this one mm-hmm. I get, you know it does well, I think that was always part of like the his character the reason why they always kind of I don't know I mean I was gonna say deferred to him mm-hmm. is because not only did he was he the idea man and would have like the plan yeah but also there was the kind of reverence for the fact that like this is you know this is the only one who's been touched by tragedy yeah. directly lost his brother to whatever the is currently plaguing the town yeah, yeah like to- like totally i i feel like the new version of bill it feels more natural, like his reaction and his just in general demeanor. I think he's a better actor. Oh, he's a better actor, mm-hmm. I think. Definitely. But his his general demeanor, it makes more sense to me. He seems like a kid that lost his brother. Jonathan Brandis, I don't get that from mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. at that's all. True, especially because the way that like you know his friends are really delicate about the right. language they use around him about like oh he's not dead, he's missing kind mm-hmm. of thing. That's a yeah. huge through line in that movie, you know. I think there's different characteristics that come out stronger in each one. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Brandis feels more like the leader, but the Jaden, I forget his last name. Yeah. Uh, Lieber, feel, Lieber, 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 something like that. Yeah. It feels more like he lost a brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just absolutely. Just different characteristics for each one are stronger in those. I like New Bev better. Way better. Oh, I do like so they, way uh, better. Yeah, they yeah. elevate yeah. her to, I mean, she's basically the second lead. Mm-hmm. I think in the, the first one and the book, it's more of an, like an ensemble. Yeah. But in this one, it's basically Bill, Bev, and then Ben third yeah. mm-hmm. on down. The, and then, you know, Richie stealing every scene that Richie's he's in. Richie stealing every scene. And even uh, Eddie. The kid who plays Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Was what was he so didn't have an inhaler, did he, in the he new did. one? Yeah, he did. He did. He makes an appearance one time when they're yeah. looking at the projector. And then we don't yeah. really see it ever again. Yeah, because I was waiting for the, this is battery acid, but, you know, I guess. Yeah, but that's uh, that's a scene we get in the 1990s version where they all take the hit of the inhaler before they go Which down. Which makes no in the sense. Book too? It's in the that book, was, too. That it, was funny. That, but that's the I, thing. I, I, like, <laughs> that's in the book. It's in the 1990s version, but that's not in the new one. And that feels to me like um, part of a, like a unifying thing with the group mm-hmm. that I yeah. really like. I like that they do stuff like that. And it also gives them the idea, I think it, it establishes uh, the idea that they they kill it by virtue of their imagination. Yes. They believe that the silver dollars will hurt it because silver kills monsters. Right. And they so believe, if we believe this, it'll happen. I believe yeah. that the battery acid is this. So the, the thing that it's using against me, my imagination. Yes. They, I can actually turn that around against yes. it. Yes, I didn't get that from the new film. That's that was my that's my biggest problem with the new film. But the new film makes an adjustment for that by with, by completing the Bill arc. I guess if if they're leaving Georgie potentially alive, then it they, it not, closes not for that. Us. Like I never believed he was alive. Well, I know, but for Bill's character sure. at that po- point at the end when he actually has to, you know, kill Georgie, yeah, that's mm-hmm. because he knows that he's come to the realization that this isn't my brother, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And so that kind of closes that off. It's like I went from, or he goes from believing, you know, his brother's alive to like, okay, this is, you know, he's dead. Yeah, you know, this thing killed him. And then I guess we can gang up on him with the power of our, you know, with the power of pipes. The fact that we're all together. <laughs> Yeah, there's less I, magic to it. There's, yeah? That's that's the magic. That's what I was missing from the new one. I feel like it's the like magic is throughout magic. the film instead of at the ultimate fight, though. Because, like, that part when Ben is in the library and, like, those fucking smoking Easter eggs are all, like, you know, scattered throughout the library and he's falling. Like, I feel like the magic is in scenes like that and not in the final fight, you know? Well, when referring to the magic, you know, if, like, they, I th- they talk about it that 
they're stronger when they're together. They are the seven. Mm-hmm. They are the losers club. And there's yeah. even it feels like and, Faith of the Seven. What? <laughs> Faith of the Seven. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, Faith the, the seven. magnificent seven. Yeah. Seven yeah. is yeah. a very magical yeah, number. Yeah. <laughs> um I won't get into nerdy Harry Potter stuff. I'll just leave that out. Yeah. Um, but How many they, nerd things can we mention in like 30 oh, seconds? They all have seven as a common denominator. Yeah. Faith um, in the seven. But there is, and again, this is the book, so it's harder to, uh, so it, so it's easier to get it across in that and everything. Um, but uh, it, they they feel in the book that when they're together, there's something is different, something is switched. There is they are obviously stronger together than they are apart. Mm-hmm. Is this the? Uh, it's the Stephen King has this kind of. Uh, I mean, I know that he was raised Baptist or something. Yeah, he was or some Christian denomination. Mm-hmm. But it always seems like his uh, worldview is, and it's, it comes through very much in it. I think that the. Even though there's this great evil, there is some kind of light magic, yes. right? Or he light really, force I mean, yeah, that balances everything out. Yes, there's like a light, the, the 11, balance. The eleven yes. twenty two yeah. sixty three thing, yes. where like if you if you do something to time, time's gonna come and yes. push back. It, it comes there's back. Always everything the, evens out. Yeah. Like he's very big believer in that, mm-hmm. and that comes I, that comes across more, I think, in the older stuff. That you know there is that there's that force behind them that wants them to be together, um, and that helps them fight. The what is their opposite force, which is it, which is Pennywise the clown, and so they form this force basically by the seven of them yes. existing, we're coming together. Yes, and as I mean, as they lose their members, as happens throughout. Um, I don't think they lose anybody in the new one, but um, as they lose members and everything, like the the power is is slighted, but like there's they the they close the circle, they come together. These things are mentioned in the book as well. Um, that, yeah, that power, that magic, it doesn't feel like is necessarily there um, in the new one. Well, so I, um, I also wonder, why was I thinking this? There was something that you just said. Now it's like escaped my head. Something that was, I, I thought that like the, uh, maybe I was going with the idea that there still feels like there's a safety net, right? In the idea that uh, that there's some kind of force out there that's going to protect mm-hmm. them or, you know. But the movie itself also like kind of seems to play it safe, even though it's rated R. It like it takes away a lot of the more extreme moments from the novel, mm-hmm. which you thought like maybe that these scenes could show up or yeah. whatever. It seemed like the teasing that Henry Bowers did of Ben was more aggressive in the uh, the nineties version. The racial uh, teasing that he does yeah. of Mike is more aggressive in the nineties. Wait, hold definitely on. so. You thought the it was more aggressive towards Ben in the nineties version? Yeah. Well without the cutting. Without him. the cutting of the he, H in his stomach. Just like, <laughs> but verbally, the verbal yeah. abuse it was like oh, oh you know, no, it, see I found it in the twenties I was way more upsetting. I was literally uncomfortable watching yeah, the same new here. One. Yeah. Know, there were so many more fucks yeah. and like, like so much more swear words. Really aggressive. Twenty seventeen. I really felt what you're talking about. After the rock fight with Henry Bowers, where he's just like, the what? I, maybe it's the delivery. Of the line is like, "I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill all of you." Like that line got me in this one. I'm just like, in I the feel 90s like one. in the '90s one, yeah, uh, that feels more like he's a little more off edge on that one. See, like, I uh, for whatever reason, I like believe that one. I believe him in the new one. Yeah, I'm like this kid is off his he, rocker. You're like, like he's, he's gonna kill to, everyone. You're like, if he doesn't kill this kid, he's gonna kill everyone in the whole school. Yeah, kind of thought you get. Like, yeah. yeah, I yeah for real. Yeah, I yeah all the bullying scenes in the 2017 one were like really hard for me to watch yeah it was like extremely hard really uncomfortable this one this the 90s one i was fine yeah i think it, some of it has to do with like the time period the 90s one is set in it's so distant from us you know being in, like the late 50s There's that, that yeah. it's like another time so we're like fucking whatever mm-hmm. but you know in 2017 Maybe. is like 1989 is very much our recent memory yeah so it's yeah it's that much more real plus like yeah. switching them up from being like a greaser to being like a trailer trash kid with a mullet makes a big difference too yeah. you know it makes more sense in the like the father abusing the son oh yeah part of it which For is a sure. big part between those two mm-hmm. and especially why he kills his dad mm-hmm. yeah which I like that they did. Uh, they killed him. He killed his dad in the movie, just how he kills him in the book too. Yeah. He just holds oh, really? The knife to his yeah. neck and, and lets flips it, it open. Yeah. yeah, because he goes a little crazy at that point. Like yeah. I remember, the oh book yeah, has, it makes Patrick Hockstetter the like the actual psychopath. Yeah, he's yeah he's the one who just like kills things to look at it and laugh at it. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. 
And then it gets them with the leeches. Yeah, but in this the one, they dispatch with Patrick Hockstetter pretty early on. Yeah, in the sewer underneath. Yeah, very mm-hmm. early on. Well, here's my question. With the way that they leave off, like, uh, the it lore is that Henry Bowers uh, is blamed for all the child murders because they recover him, right? He's mm-hmm. blamed for the child murders, and then he comes back, you know, 30 years later. Very declarative tonight, Holly. Like, like, when he comes to a point, I'm just like, yes, exactly. Yeah. That's Sean is violently do. hand gesturing I'm violent tonight. Yeah. It's just certain things are, I'm just like, yeah. Like, what happens now? Because yeah. they yeah. do things where it's just like, where do, you, where do you go from that? Like, what is your. What is I know, your by thing? giving Ben all the history of the yeah. town, it's like, what does that leave Mike to do in the future? In the books and early on, Mike Hanlon was the historian. He's the librarian who stayed behind, especially in the 90s series and everything. Right. He's the one who's researching the history because his father in the book tells him a lot of stories about, you know, the black the times. spot, the black spot, the Fitchner, uh, iron, the iron works explosion and everything. The gangster. Yeah. All those scenes are actually, some of those are in the Cary Fukunaga. Like they were going to oh, really? do flashbacks. Oh. Yeah. Or illustrations of some of those yeah, the, stories. That's this should be a fucking mini series. <laughs> <laughs> Still it was thought. a mini series, Sean. No, no, no. I'm talking like <laughs> like HBO TV episodes, series. Yeah. Like you yeah. can do a couple seasons of. Of this thing and like get everything and do it really, really good. Mm-hmm. I still think that's like in uh, after this next one in like twenty years they'll do that. Twenty seven years. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! In twenty seven. Yeah. When I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, when I'm. Uh, I'm going to reduce that now? age a little bit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> when I'm 60, fuck. That we'll thing get comes another back version when I'm 70. It, yeah. Uh. That wouldn't surprise me. It feels like this oh, yeah. has entered into, I mean, especially with the enthusiasm surrounding this movie. Yeah. Because I don't think that enthusiasm was there the first time around. It's like people had known of the story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't think a lot of people had read it. And then the TV show came out and then... That's where, over the years, I think, like, even if you weren't around to watch it when it was new, you've still seen... Because it's the crazy killer clown movie, right? right? Yeah. It's, 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 icon- it's iconic, yeah. yeah. And it's... Yeah. Which has built up all the head of steam under this uh, this film. Yeah, because realistically, people don't remember that this was a TV movie. No, uh, no. Most people think most people think this was just a regular theatrical release. Right. I don't think most people have watched this in a long, long it, time. Exactly. Me included. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing. Like, people, I I really don't get why people, like, die on the hill of this movie. I really Do don't. Oh, yeah. People yeah. people defend this movie, t- like, like it's a horror classic. And I'm just like, have you, so you've seen GIFs of Pennywise in the past five years, but have you actually watched the mm. movie? Yeah, I don't get dying you know? on the hill for it. Yeah. Like, it's. I won't do that. It's but, not uh, a, you know, not a contemporary classic it, no. by any stretch. I don't think, you know. But I guess the image of or the personality, whatever of Pennywise, the 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 imagery of him, the right? That's what I'm saying. One, in yeah. gifts, he lives in gifts. Yeah, you <laughs> like, remember that about the about the film? You forget the acting and the stilted dialogue and, and, you, <laughs> and how yeah, you and how long that. the stretches between Pennywise are. Yeah, like they're like oh, they're yeah. few and far between. You know, like we saw him what three times in the. There was, hour and a half we watched was hardly any yeah yeah and most of the time it wasn't scary no he's not as violent as he is in the uh, new one because in the new one like he'll show up sporadically like hiding off in in the background and everything but he's like Eating a child, mm. yeah, things like he that. Has a severed arm. It yeah. with a severed I arm. loved that Which so much. That. Like, that was oh, great. Like that. <laughs> That's the exact moment I was like, I'm fucking sold on this movie. Right, that was he, the exact moment I was like, Yep, yeah. I, I'm in. Just that's the thing they don't. I don't think they necessarily do in the '90s one. Like he eats people. Like he, yeah. takes, they find people with big chunks taken out of yeah. them. The, the guy's book. armpit, he like bites out yeah, in the in the bites, beginning. Yeah, he bites that out. He'll he just eats motherfuckers and leaves <laughs> remnants of yeah. them. Like this is the thing he does. Yeah, mm-hmm. that yeah, I like that. They added that a little bit. He's just sitting in the field all bloody, just chewing on something. I'm all for that. Yeah, the, the '90s one. You know, he keeps repeating like this refrain of you know when you come with we all float down here and yeah. when you come with me you'll float too. But there's no because you guys well, I wandered out of the room. You watch the climax. Do they float? They're, I think that Nobody spider floats. has people like uh, they're in a spider. Cocoons. They're in spider webs. Yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah, they're in spider um, webs. That's in it. The, uh, like in what the does new- that mean? Mm-hmm. You'll float too. Well, that's that's the other thing I didn't quite like about the new one is like they're actually floating down there. Yeah, they're I'm not like, floating you didn't in the dead need lights. To take it. 
Which is supposedly but, like oh, their no, consciousness that, you can't gets even absorbed. Mention, don't mention the deadlights for the new one because it's not a thing. Yeah, Dead, the deadlights are Beverly not. Beverly looks into she them. She looks into them, but like you wouldn't know that that is. Right. Yeah. The you wouldn't make that connection. Like, I know it's the deadlights, yeah. but that, mm. that there's no meaning behind them. I, I didn't know that's what it was until yeah. tonight. Yeah. There's yeah. no meaning behind those lights whatsoever in the new one, unless you know what it is. It's just like nothing. And yeah. so I wouldn't say those kids at the end are floating in the deadlights. They're just dead and floating around a pile of uh, amassed children things mm -hmm. that is collected over the years. Yeah. The deadlights. Yeah. The deadlights weren't a thing. They aren't a thing in the first chapter of this, though. Like, they're not mm -hmm. mentioned by name at all. They are in the second part. Like, they go more through the history of what is happening in the second one um, when they reunite later on. And maybe they'll do that in the next one. But, yeah, deadlines aren't mentioned at all. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I'm actually surprised that the new one. Well, I guess you would save that for the sequel. Right. Because how would anybody know, I guess? Well, there's the whatever. Where they do the smoke ritual. Yeah. Like, in the Barrens, they... Yeah. Bury them. They dig a hole and cover it up. And they have their clubhouse that they build underground and then cover it up with like uh, earth and grass and everything. So they have they can get down in there and all sit down in it and it's all hidden from Henry Bowers comes and looks for them at one point. They're this all is just a standing fucking arrest development plot from season four, but okay. Is it? <laughs> yes. Well, they, yeah. they create yes. smoke and yeah. then they, they that, hallucinate. Yep. Right. Arrest development season four does that. Yeah. Yep. And this is where they see the origins of it. Or yeah. This yeah. is where, how they get the understanding well, it, of it. Andy Muschetti <laughs> like really tried to fight to get that in this movie and the studio was like, we are not paying for that. Like They forced him to take it out, but he had it in his original script and wanted to shoot it, really tried for it, and that they said no. Thing, that would be a uh, thing. Uh, an undertaking mm -hmm. yeah. to, to do yeah. what is technically the emergence of it. Um, and I think we only see it in the book because you definitely never see it on here. But at a certain mm -hmm. point in the book, it tells you like more so uh, it tells you like where it came from, basically, mm -hmm. or it, it shows you his arrival. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. They need to do it. Oh, you guys aren't watching Twin Peaks The Return. David Lynch did this awesome, like, really fucking bizarre, like, origin of evil thing for Ooh. one whole episode. Really? It was really, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean. I'm like, so you can do it and have that kind of cosmic, sure. you know. I get I, why a studio would say want, no to it. Then I, I want understand. David Lynch to come in and direct that part. <laughs> and then fuck do you, don't, yeah, do you yeah. think they'll try to tackle a version of that scene yes. in, the, in the next yep. chapter? Yeah. I would guess, yeah. Because yeah. you have lot. to explain. You have to, what it right? Is. Yeah, yeah. Because you have you have to get to the the core of like what it is, like where it came from, what it is, the the ancientness of it. I think you have to give some uh, a backstory on it somehow. Well, and how with with how much money this movie is going to make, they're going to have a hard time saying no to budgetary restrictions with the second yeah. one. You know, yeah. obviously the second one's going to more of a budget with how successful this is going to be. So I would say I more, heard, but not too much. I heard that because uh, I was reading today. I'm like, what? You know, this is hearsay, right? We're mm -hmm. not getting it right from the horse's mouth, no. so I don't know. But they said just a couple days ago they hired they retained the writer who was the guy that they brought in mm -hmm. to to write the first one to start work on the second one and they're going to have to renegotiate deals with all the participants. Like Bill Sarsgaard can go like, give me more money from what, this is the way they I understand it. One? They only plan to do one movie. And I'm like, why? Like, you know, it, when that trailer came out and like broke the YouTube record for how many times a trailer was looked at one day or whatever. Yeah. Like how come some studio exec wasn't saying like, man, maybe we should, at least start getting deals, and you know, I, or I guess Why when you the make the first wasn't one, moved forward sooner. Than well, it, what it has been. At what point did they change their mind? Because I mean, at the end of the movie, they say it chapter one. At what yeah, point did that they? That can be done at any point in time. I guess. Maybe like three weeks ago. Well, that's what you I'm know? saying. Like, it how, might have been. how recent yeah. was yeah. that? Was that thought? Yeah. Of? I'm sure it know. wasn't too long ago that they put that on there. Yeah. I think that just shows how little confidence they have in like horror as a genre in general more than just this movie i think that they're just like oh yeah it'll make it'll make its money back but it won't be a they, huge yeah. hit yeah they look at their charting he's like well this did good this did horrible well, yeah we thought and, this would do good well, don't do make a either. shitty horror movie yeah. how much of it is a response to stranger things which is a response to the which original response it. To it. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no stranger yeah. things is 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 member berries as a tv stranger show is what it made is it possible like, for them to do it yeah Basically, yeah. yeah, like that was a like. Bit, what do we have that's thing. like Stranger Things? We've got it. It. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we oh. cast one of the kids we, from Stranger Things 
in it. I worry for that Bam. kid. I don't want him to be typecast for the rest of his life. Like I think he'll be. It's fun. already happening though. Like he's already the like the the parallel. But not, so, but he's not Richie the, in it in Stranger Things. Though. No, no, they're, just, they're, calm, they're different calm, characters. They're different kid. characters. They're different the characters. series are very similar, well, sure, and like the dynamic I, between I, the kids is identical. Like right, but I think, you know, eighties like series. Yeah, you put that kid in glasses and make him curse a lot. I think it's enough of differentiation from what he plays yeah. in Stranger Things. I think he'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Just seems like a lateral move, and I'm worried for him. You know, I think at this point in his career, it's okay with that lateral move. Plus, how do you say no to being able to do what he did in that movie? Right, right. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. Think he can. It's yeah. like he has that opportunity. Like that's a good move. All right. I think, if, on his if he part. hits, if he hits a third movie with this, though, then yeah, we should then be worried. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not it chapter two. Yeah. Right. Uh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Yeah. No. No. If he does I another think, franchise that is very similar, yeah, and, yeah, I'm like, oh, uh oh. Move on back up. from that point. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he made a good move doing this one, I think. Because he's the. I mean, for me, he's the best part about that movie. Oh, for sure. The he's, best he's part funny. about that movie. Yeah, he's funny. He's fucking he funny. He went for it. He I want to watch that movie it. again because he's so fucking funny. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite part. I thought the chemistry between all the kids in general in this movie was like, felt very natural. Yeah, very this fluid. I did too, most this, of them. This cast as an ensemble was fantastic. Yeah. There's a few characters that are just, that aren't quite as present as the rest of them are, obviously, because you can't give time to all of them. Yeah. Equally. But I feel like that's how a group of friends is, though. You have sure. your, like, more bolder well, sure, personalities. That's fine. Let him be. He was homeschooled. Uh, that's very true. Homes- okay, <laughs> homeschooled. no offense, homeschooled kids. children, but you are segregated from the rest of society. Usually, that's oh, why you're homeschooled. Segregated. Yeah. <laughs> no, because they choose <laughs> to be kidding. educated I'm at kidding. home. I was actually thinking, is it Stanley? Is that the Jewish kid? Yeah. yeah I thought. I thought he was more secondary. Standoffish. Yeah. He was. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. as well. Not but so, he still got so his much. own scenes that were pretty intense. Like, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. so much. Was it Mike? The, yeah. Mike Hanlon is. Yeah. The the farmer kid. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think he was. All that secondary. I thought he was pretty good. Well, he feels all, he felt secondary to me. He's, well, they, also, he's they, not giving as much to they, do. They, Plus, well, again, they took his part away from him. Yeah, yeah. But they do at least give you know each one of the kids like I thought like Mike in the remake fared better than Mike in the you know at oh least absolutely kid Mike, absolutely right? yeah. Fared better. There was more of a focus because they do take time to you know set everybody up and give them at least one sure. good yeah. scene. Yeah, no, because happens like right off in the nineties the version. We're sitting there and they and uh, he's talk Stanley's talking and I, I forgot that kid even existed. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh yeah, wait, which is this the Jewish kid? Like mm-hmm. I couldn't remember. And in yeah. this, he's what, he's what like a military kid? Is that what he's? He's going to the Cub Scouts. He's in the Cub Scouts. Mm-hmm. Cub Scouts. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's in the Cub Scouts. He's a bird watcher. It's so intense. Uh, yeah. yeah, like I forgot he existed. Yeah. He has, in the new, in the new one, an in the new one, they give each them each of them a a more. Um, What's what am I looking for? A more um, focused. detailed Needy. focus story. Yes, thank you. When you see each one of their like indi- when when you're learning about them, you see what each of them like fears the most too, which is a good like right. setup yeah. for the movie. And they like yeah, they they each get Do shared we- time. Yeah. See what each one of them fears the yeah. most. What do we got? Who don't we see? What do we got? What is what is uh Mike when he delivers the, when he delivers Mike? the meat and he sees the hands coming out of the what door? It's his parents. It's his parents well, dying uh, in the fire. Sh- his house burned down. His okay. house burned down. Yeah. What else? They explain uh, that the painting in the in the Sam's synagogue. Yeah. Yep. What is Eddie? Uh, Eddie, Eddie is the leper. Oh, the leper. Because his mom leper. is like a hypochondriac and okay. ha- probably has Munchausen by proxy. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Which is um, which is I like that. Yeah. Because that's scary. Yeah. The fact that she has that and probably a little malingering, probably for attention and for money as well. Sure. So yeah, yeah, that's a combination of things there. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. I forgot. That, I forgot. I will say I forgot Mike's family died in the fire. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that part. Yeah. That it's, makes more sense. It's yeah. weird to me that in the '90s version they just give like uh, you know Eddie's mom. Is present in both the past and the present. Yeah. You know, she mm-hmm. just stays with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because in the novel, and I assume in the new movie, he marries basically his he mother, you know, mother, another yeah. woman who's, you know. Yeah. Very, yeah. Another very large woman. Domineering. <laughs> very you know, large woman domineering woman. Whose controls, <laughs> yeah. It's very, yeah, it's interesting, that dynamic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time with that, too. I was trying to think if they got like all the, but yeah, you were saying like all the things that they were afraid of. I think mm-hmm. they did kind of set they that did. up. They did. That was what, yeah. More and, so, and the more only so one in they, the new one. They hang out, they wait for uh, Richie to be like, you know, the clowns. And then his, so his comes late in the game. Yeah. I wish the, it wasn't clowns. I wish <clears> it was. But I will say, okay, so the the fake out clown that they have at the July 4th thing before mm-hmm. they go into the haunted house looked 
creepy even though it was yeah. a normal clown Maybe. i was like god that would bother me too like yeah, yeah. you know dude's just trying to put on clown makeup is way well scarier. and he kept looking at them and yeah. i was like why why are you looking why are you looking at these kids step off clown you're a clown and you're you're looking at young boys you yeah. should not be doing that like so do uh do clowns the clown uh, union do they have a, a case here the, they're planning like, a no. protest Fuck that. i know i heard this, this yeah. is, they just want attention I, yeah. yeah i think that's what it is it's like, like, oh, clowns otherwise, are, clowns we don't are think about clowns I can at all. Do something. I get a job off this. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't make that an episode of Modern Family, I'm out. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, come on. Have you guys been to the clown graveyard in Chicago? No. Thing. Yes. So there was a there was actually a place in Chicago where a Barnum and Bailey train wrecked and Ooh. several dozen like like ninety some like circus performers died, including clowns. Oh, and they are all buried that. in yeah. like a like a mass grave together with like a big elephant Whoa. statue on top. Jesus. <laughs> is, I heard about that. It is the most the disturbing shit right I've seen in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's a big elephant statue like on top of it. It's pretty pretty upsetting. So. You want to see something horrible. haunted? Go there. You, you gotta check this out on uh, on the interwebs. Yep. All right. Yeah. So we are kind of like uh, running kind of low on time. Anything else you want to say about these its before we get to mailbag? What are we up to? Um, I mean, what what do we think about the way they uh, dispatched with it? Ninety nineties versus the new one. Because in the nineteen nineties, there's again we go back to the fact that there's like. They believe in a power that is they're going to help them, and that you know, uh, silver. I mean, obviously, it ties in with uh, they're watching. They're in the theater watching werewolf movies early on in the movie, so silver is a big thing. They believe in it, so it works, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so they've melted down. Rich, I think Richie's mom's earrings into silver um, balls, as it were, and uh, Beverly is tasked with like she's the best shot with a slingshot. This is also. As we're talking about Beverly, like she's she's ta- she's the best shot of this. She, she's the one tasked with shooting him should they come across and everything, right? Which ends up happening at the end of this movie. She nails Pennywise in the head, and those the deadlights, you know, start coming out. Yeah, and he's injured and everything. Um, she's kind of uh, uh, she's more important, I think, to the group in the 1990s version. Versus what they do with her in the 2017 version. I yeah, like that's a dramatic that alteration. It of, is, and I have a problem with it because I like. Um, she becomes the bait. She basically. does. She becomes the bait. She becomes the damsel in distress. Well, in at what movie. point does it yeah, like capture really someone and not eat them? He captures her yeah. and doesn't kill her. Why? Right, because you know they would still go looking for her anyway. I assume. Yeah, but that but that's my biggest problem. Like I like what they did with her because she's. She's one of the she's one of the guys in that one. She is as good as the rest of them. Like she is an important member of that group. You're saying in the mm-hmm. '90s one. In the '90s one, yes, and mm-hmm. even and in the book especially. Like she is, oh, she's almost like one of the unifying factors of that group because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they all in the thing like they all love Beverly and she loves them all. Like mm-hmm. there's that thing that they all share between them. In the new one, again, she gets captured. She's the damsel in distress. They have to quote unquote That's go save point. her. Yeah, I don't like what they do with her because she should be like she should be the badass mm-hmm. in that she is the one. She ends. I mean, she ends up striking like the blow. That knocks that thing down and out for like thirty years. Like yeah, she sends it away, and they take that away from her in that book. And for such a strong, I think she actress, does that twice. And isn't she? She does it again. When yeah, she's she an does adult. it later on when she's older yeah. as well. And like to take that away from such a strong actress who's portraying that character because uh, Sophia Lillis is, I think, her yeah, name. Yeah. yeah, she's very good. She's like, wonderful. Like she's really she's good. Yeah, like, she's got a huge career ahead I think of her. So. Like she, yeah. her she's star she's the breakout. Yeah, probably, she's from definitely the breakout. She's great. Is and then, she older than the rest? Of, or just girls are more mature than? Uh, I'm not than sure. I didn't look it up. It but. seemed like because the girl in the '90s one, uh, Emily Perkins from Ginger Snaps, yeah. seems like a kid. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, really she's so nondescript. Yeah, like but she's but they all seem like like kids. In yeah. the new one, she seemed like you know eh, she does teenager. Seem, yeah, she seems you know? like, especially like compared to like the Ben Hanscom of the new movie. He yeah, seems like a seems really like young kid. Eight, he seems know? so young, <laughs> so young in that movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's weird. But uh, I yeah, I think they kind of don't give her enough of 
what she should be in the new one. Like, you know, that's a good point. I had never really thought about that until you brought it up. So I'm glad you brought it up because that's like, okay, we're less than like 24 hours from having seen this movie. We so are, we're still so riding we're the high. Yeah. We're so we're raw, still I'm like, still yeah. so like I'm trying to like come down from that high yes. a little bit and just be like more objective about it. Yeah. And that you're knocking me down there. So that helps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's, a yeah. Few, there's a few things I'm just like, they that's a good point. They, they could have mm-hmm. captured anybody. It had to be the girl. Come. I, I agree with you on that. I'm glad you brought yeah. it up. Yeah. Why wasn't it the little weakling kid that's on all the medicine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, because, but they're still going to the idea that everybody loves Beverly. She's the most, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, I yeah. guess, valuable of, that's the, true. of the seven. Yes. So they asked the, um, the kids in the 2017 version, who do you want to play as your this adult is, I counterpart? Think what everybody's doing right now, the yeah. fantasy casting of yeah. the two, the, the next chapter well, two. Jessica yeah. Chastain has history she, with uh, Mush- the she director. She does with Mama, right. yeah. and she and she mentioned on Twitter, which I, I forgot she did Mama, but she mentioned on Twitter that she had seen the movie months ago, and she's like, everybody go see it. And I'm like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> someone's getting cast to something. But this is like they asked the actual actors, who would you pick yeah. to play the older version of you? And this is what they said said so finn wolfhard richie says he wants bill Hader. i'd be okay with yeah it sounds great the, honestly yeah. all these picks are fucking spot on like these kids are so, sophia lillis who's beverly marsh says she wants jessica chastain mm. chosen jacobs who is mike hanlon says he wants chadwick boseman which we had oh, talked yeah. about we, would yeah. be the best yeah. choice probably yeah. it doesn't That'd seem like he's old enough to do that's it, what he's not say. yeah he's not old enough because so. i thought elizabeth olsen would be great oh for yeah sophia Lillis, but she's not old enough either yeah, yeah. Well, um, somebody else mentioned amy adams yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, well, definitely. Yeah, I can choose that too. Looks like Amy Adams. I can yeah. see that. Like, that'd be yeah. a good one too. That would be a good one. If somebody yeah. said Jessica Jessica Chastain for Audra. Yeah, yeah, oh, I can yeah. see that. Right, yeah, which yeah, I didn't yeah. think about, like because she's an actress yeah. and supposed yeah. to be an actress and yeah. supposed to look similar to Beverly, right. which is why Bill married her. There you that go. makes sense. I bet you, like. you know, it'll probably be Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh, oh shit, you're right. Kmart's She's not old. Right. Exactly. It will be low <laughs> But I like Bryce Dallas Howard. So no, there's it's nothing against her, but, uh, but I would rather have Jessica yeah, Chastain. Is she yeah. old enough, though? Yeah, yeah, she's Bryce not far yeah. off in age from Jessica Chastain. Okay. I, don't think. I think Jessica Chastain fits more. Yeah, being yeah. Older. yeah. Um, J- Jack Dylan Grazer, who played Eddie, says he wants Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, you can kind of see that. That I one's a little that. bit more of a stretch, I, I can but. See the, uh, the similarities the, between the neuroticness. Him and Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know about the neuroticness. The character, I don't see it. Yeah, the character, I don't see it. Wyatt Olaf, who is Stanley, says he wants Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I, like, I can see I, that. Yeah, yeah, but I'll at go some with that. point, budget is going to become a yeah. reality. No, this is yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a dream cast. This, this, yeah. is, this yeah. is fantasy. This is fantasy. Yeah. They, they fantasy. just ask the kids who they want. Joseph Gordon-Levitt casting. Yeah, I see that. They just ask the kids who they want. This is what the kids said. And then Jeremy Ray Taylor, who is Ben, says he wants Chris Pratt, which I could. I totally see. Yeah, that. And the whole point is that he got you know he got beefed up and <laughs> he got was beefed up. Yeah, yeah. Like, All right, that and would then, be fantastic. Work. That yeah. would be good. And then uh, Jaden Lee Berger, who plays Bill, says he wants Christian Bale, which I I'm, <laughs> yeah I can see yeah. that. I can totally yeah. see yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I can see Christian Bale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm more interested in the new the new one. These kids, <laughs> these kids are on top of it. They know mm. what they're yeah. doing. Like, kids, yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, this movie. Yeah. Is there anything uh, that you, anything egregious you thought was missing that wasn't included in either or? I mean, the, the scenes that, you know, I remember are, you know, obviously Georgie. I remember the dam. The dam's missing from the new film. Uh, the rock fight was yeah. there. The leper was there. The the Barons is not a, is it's not a. It's not a bigger thing in the new one. No, like the the barons. They it's, mention it a, a lot, they, but, but yeah. it's, like it's a, just the it's a woods it's just, where they go to play. Yeah, it's just the woods and like a small creek and everything. Like mm-hmm. the barons was the barons in like the book, and even in this, because there's a a visual representation of what the barons is technically, mm-hmm. or at least the uh, the sewer where it lives and everything. They're at least near it, which I think helps the earlier one. We don't get that in the new one where there's just like oh, yeah. that's where they're at. No, the only thing I think I was really rooting for. You know the the one thing that like, the I, I, scene. that I feel like oh, I can't no, live no, with. That. <laughs> no, say what was the, uh, oh. the I want I'm what gonna now? kill it. You know, line. <laughs> yeah, it's the, like yeah. I think I needed like you got to put that in for me to be 100 yeah. percent happy with it. That's me. Yeah, that's I. I'm gonna go with that. About, um, do you not know about the orgy scene? Nope. <laughs> so at the end of the book, okay, they have um, I think they have quote unquote killed it, or they've at least you know shot him, and he's gone at the end when they're kids 
Okay. And so they're trying to make their way out of the store. In the book, the whole going down to its lair and then coming out is a big thing. Like, there is, it is a gigantic maze underneath Derry. In the dark. In the dark that they have to try. Under a town. Under a town that they have to try and navigate. Henry Bowers is always on their ass. Like, they can hear him in the tunnels behind him. And the other two, I think, Belch and uh, Victor Yeah, they get picked off as Mm -hmm. they're going through those tunnels and Mm -hmm. everything. Um, But then they're trying to find their way out. After they've uh, taken care of it, and they can feel themselves like moving away from each other, like that power is dissipating at this point mm-hmm. because they've used it to, uh, quote unquote, defeat it at this point, and they can feel themselves getting lost because Eddie was the one who like knew where to go, mm-hmm. like he knew which direction to get, like that was his power. He just knew how to get out, get in, and all that stuff, and they could feel it like slipping away. So they had to try and figure out a way to like bring them all back together, and so Bev ends up having sex with all of them right there in the sewers and as a way to like bring them back all together and wow. them to get out blood and magic basically wow. so yep. it's a big thing for like they all lose their virginity at that point and they all have sex with Bev at that and it's a, it's a controversial thing that people have talked about from apart from the book that uh, obviously is not in any of the movies. Right. Nope. And, uh, won't no, won't be. be. Won't be help. Uh, <laughs> I'm really yeah, okay I could with live that. Without, though. There's yeah. some things yep. where I'm like, There's well, I wish you would have like, left this in or that. Right. Or, like, that I don't like that. It's like, why is that? I, that just when you're reading it, right? That's kind of like I understand. The fuck. That he needs something to bring them back, but it's just like seems like a reach. We don't, we don't need that. Nope, we don't I, need it. I think it kind of goes back to what Colin was saying, though, about how, like, what he said, this is going to be the end-all be-all of, like, his horror writing, right? Yeah. So, like, he just literally threw the whole kitchen Fuck sink in this in book. Like, he was, he was like... All right, I got a yeah. 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 came sober. <laughs> and then they all have an orgy and they get out of the sewer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why are you leaving? What? what? Wait, I haven't finished it yet. Come back. I'm going to tell you. That pitch didn't go well. Yeah. Um, but it's not, uh, again, I understand maybe what he was trying to get off, but uh, we don't, eh, we don't necessarily, I don't think. I, I don't get what he's trying to get at with that. I, I, I really don't. don't. Yeah. Take a left turn and, uh, Cause I've seen two versions of this without that scene and it works perfectly. I, 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 yeah. I'm not saying it can be excised permanently <laughs> yeah. and we don't need it. Yeah. I really, yeah, it can. It's, I really can't see how that would unify a group. I think it would, you know, make divide things, more than awkward. conquer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta read it. You gotta read it. The flowery yeah, language yeah. of the prose. It is totally, a, yeah. You believe it, but. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling yeah. bullshit on that. But only in the moment that you're reading and then you're just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking Sean of all the shaking his head. It. Feels wrong. We don't need it. I'm just thinking of all the people I know that have told me this is like their favorite book, and now I'm judging them wholly differently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a great book. This it's one is of my your favorite, favorite book. <laughs> but like, there are people that have been like, "No, this is my favorite book ever," and I'm like, now I'm like, "Oh, your favorite book ever has this scene in it." Really? I mean, hmm. Well, some huh. of your favorite movies have some weird shit in it. I guarantee yeah, that's it. true. I can look yeah. at all of you and be like, "That's well, true." I know, am I going to judge yeah. you on the worst scene in your movies right now? <laughs> No. <laughs> well said, sir. Well um, said. It's, it's real, true. real quick. The, I know that the new one is full of nostalgia. <laughs> the old one's full of nostalgia. Uh, the the, the yeah. new movie's full of uh, nostalgic moments. Uh, did you find the um, 80s montage of cleaning the bathroom a little distracting from this the story? This is the thing that I wanted to talk about. Yeah. The tonal shifts in the new movie threw me off. I don't yeah. think they're appropriate for what they're trying to do. I like them. But and I also like that they're. Um, I want to see that movie where those kids are just all funny and cursing, and then there's cool scenes where there's a music montage and they're doing stuff and everything. And Stranger Things. But I don't <laughs> yeah. want it. Even even Stranger Things wasn't that. Good they don't curse compared. that much, they unfortunately. Much, and there wasn't anything as good as like doing some of the stuff they do in that mo- in the new movie. But those tone shifts eight. are like no. Distracting not, and like, off-putting. You're cleaning yeah. up blood. Like it was just a horrific thing she went Way through, and now happy. we're just gonna be like all happy cleaning up blood. No, I don't want that. It was like it was That's like the equivalent. Cool. It was like the um. It was like the the scene in like Three Men and a Baby when they're painting the apartment. Yeah. Yeah, but they're cleaning blood. Yeah, they're cleaning like it does blood. not, not work. It, that's that's yeah. not what it should be. The it should be a heavy scene, and to lighten it up is when like Bill talks to Bev. Yeah, about how like, it's cool. Like they that turn it be, into something heartfelt, not right, comedic. Right. That yeah. th- that should be like letting off the tension of that whole scene yes. as those talking at the end of it. I it thought it was heavy so that. out of nowhere. Even the rock fight feels like it should have more stakes to it rather than the. Uh, I mean, I thought it was funny. The, what they funny. did with it, but I think the rock fight is like to them that's life or death at that point. Yeah, that rock fight. The that's ro- like if they don't do this, 
To me, the rock. Die. To me, the rock fight. I felt like it needed to be lighter, just because the bullying was so harsh. I'm okay. The with bullying it. was so harsh. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with it being lighter. I, I had fun with that rock. Fight yeah, scene, but, but the, I, the like, montage in the bathroom. I was like, this is weird. That was yeah. That's that tonal shift. I didn't. Know. I wasn't just particularly. Like, I didn't even like think twice about it. Honestly, it didn't really. <laughs> no, <laughs> like it the, just uh, washed over me, and either. I didn't yeah. even yeah. think I, anything I, else. No, it just it fell off to me. It felt like the in the middle of the lovely boat. There's a. The Lovely Bones, uh, there's a musical montage, a goofy montage with Susan Sarandon and the kids that mm. feels out yes, of place. That's yes. what it felt like to me. I'm just like, like this, where did this come from? Like what this are we, child was raped what are we and murdered. To say? Like, like, what is happening? There's a lot of blood going on yeah. here. What's, uh, yeah. Let's yeah, clean agreed. this up all happily? No. Yeah. No, this I is I felt just, like there was so much humor throughout the movie as it is that that really didn't seem out of place. Like, there was so much humor throughout it. There was constant, know, was, constant dick jokes in this movie. Like, nonstop no, was, dick jokes in this movie. Yeah, that's, that there was like, just something about this that was off yeah, to me. This, I can't, yeah. Off. I don't know what it is, but this one was off. Well, it threw me was more like the just, it seemed like, you know, even though they were spending so much time setting the characters up, when they actually kind of them getting their head around what they were dealing with and like, we got to go do something about it. Seemed like it happened very quickly. Quick. Like, yeah. I guess that's why I was like, it was happening before I had time to sync up with like, yeah. all right, what are the, you know, like what's the realization that's, you know, right. hitting them right now. Right. Well, so that's the thing. Those we were, don't that get. was more like on my mind, but I th- it is, it feels like it's moving. My, and I, I talked to my friend David about that. And I talked to, to like current movie making that the, the quickness of getting to where they're going like you don't, I, I get why they're doing it, but it doesn't feel like it sinks in with the characters. Like, mm-hmm. well, the characters don't know why they're doing it. They're doing it, but I don't think like we see them realizing what is happening and why they're going to do it. It's just like that's where we gotta go. Mm-hmm. So we gotta get there quick. So we get the exposition. We gotta go. Already. We gotta go. This is already two hour and fifteen minute movie. We gotta go. We gotta go. Well, this is already a one hour and nine minute podcast. So we should probably <laughs> summon Igor, our mailman, and then we're gonna come back and wrap up one of these two. Both words. of the movies, I think. <laughs> all right, we'll give you reviews. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. tell you all. About, I, I'll I tell know, you, you both. Yeah, you I'm gonna tell you about both. Of them. I, I'm gonna tell you about <laughs> both. Give my too, yeah. about both of them. Okay. All right. So let's get Igor in here with the mail. Igor, where are you, sir? Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Looks Which real cute in his clown beep, outfit beep. with balloons. Uh, yeah. Beep beep. Yeah. Uh, so we should remind. Why people. is he floating? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Get down, Igor! Get like down, this. Igor! <laughs> well, maybe Igor. we can ask Igor. Where should they? Should the kind listener get a hold of us, Igor? Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show on Twitter. <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And Saturday Night Freak Show on Instagram. There you go. We all we all get to float down here. Uh, so, about our... I think you're floating away. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's habits three beers in. Um, so, about our show tonight, it... Wayne Lestick writes in and says he watched the 1990 version over the weekend. He believes the new version is going to be way more intense. Yeah. N- Nick <laughs> totally. Siebel. Siebel, Nick, I hope I'm saying your name right, says he can't wait to see the new version. With that being said, where do you rank it among the other Stephen King films? Is that something we need to save until later? Wrap-ups. And also, do you think there might be another King film resurgence uh, and if so, what film would you want to be remade or rebooted? I, hope I think, so. I mean, I, I think I, we can answer this now and saying that there is. There is. I yeah, mean, it's right happening now. right now. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the middle of the King Richard. I'm all for it. Mr. Mercedes yeah. TV. Carrie show. was a, what, a couple years ago. Carrie's yeah. The Dark ago. Tower yeah. just happened. 11 22 63. Yeah. yeah. It was like Hulu yeah. last Castle year. Castle Rock, the TV Castle show. Castle Rock's coming Like, we are in the You're in it, man. You're in it. the Stephen King resurgence. I would like to see more, like, big budget films instead of sure. like TV series though for sure. But there's but. so like the breadth of his like work. Like, yeah, it's huge well, though. Yeah, we're just like we gotta put it everywhere. Yeah. Mini yeah. series, TV shows, all of it. I think they Stephen could King. I think they could do Firestarter better a second yeah, time around. Definitely. I think so. Yeah. Definitely. I think that I think that's where they'll find now especially Especially after this, like it's gonna do well this weekend. I think yeah. HBO and I think million man. Just like moving forward with just like all right we can do this. I, let's I, let's keep I think HBO needs to tap into this shit. HBO they got some time to fill. HBO could do something. Yeah. Well, so who's got Castle? Is it Hulu's got Castle Hulu's Rock? Got Castle Rock, I think. Mm-hmm. And they have yeah. eleven twenty two sixty three as yeah, well. Is that that's... coming back again? No, 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 no,
I don't, don't know. know. Is it also Hulu? That might be I Amazon. Know. I'm not sure. Who I knows where you find TV of, shows these days? There's a lot of Stephen King out there for you people. Mm-hmm. Like, it is it is back. Right it's now. It's out there. <laughs> All right. B movie. It is back. It's back. It is, yeah. B movie poster vault writes in. Hello. And he asks, how much do you have to drink to get through the miniseries? I, well, should one, we all say how much well, we had to drink? Was, uh, <laughs> uh, I had about two beers. I wasn't, uh, well, the whole thing, probably more. But for this hour and 40 minutes of this first one, it was all right. Hmm. I had one glass of champagne and three beers. So. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I'm at the same. Yeah, one yeah. glass of champagne and three beers. Well, yeah. I forgot about the champagne. I, I drank before that. I drank All the right, rest drank of the champagne. Yeah. yeah, you did just to get through it. Yeah. Uh, he Not also because says of it, with it. No. Right. Uh, nah. <laughs> All right. I can't live with it because of it. Well, he also says he owned it on VHS and it has aged badly quickly. The first half is better. Of the two, the kid's story is a lot stronger than the overacted second mm-hmm. half. Harry Anderson, I'm looking at you, he says. You'll have to wait and find out if we agree or disagree. Calling him out. So wait uh, two years. If I remember uh, correctly, isn't it two VHS tapes? It was. It was. Yeah, because it's so goddamn long. Yeah. So goddamn yeah. long. It's, two, it's two like VHS Titanic. Tapes. Two VHS tapes. Exactly. Yeah, Titanic it's like Pearl, is two. It's like Pearl Harbor. Pearl There's Pearl two Harbor. VHS tapes. Oh, Pearl Harbor. Pearl. Yeah. Oh, no chemistry in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. No. I kind of like that movie. And the full Salem's Lot. Josh Hartnett fanboy. I'm bringing it back to Stephen King. Josh Hartnett and Ben Affleck. What I... There was zero chemistry in that movie. I like that movie. <laughs> All right, so about our near dark episode, Tony Genoway writes in. Hi, Tony. And says there's an excellent novel called The World on Blood by Jonathan Nassau yeah. about modern day vampire support groups. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Yeah, one. I Googled I that. Love, yeah. I Googled that it. Sounds awesome. It sounds I want to read it. He's uh, referring to uh, on our episode. We were talking about making yeah, a movie about yeah. a support group for from what, vampires. From what I read, it's a uh, kind of romance vampire novel. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. I don't want to hear about the fucking. I don't. It, everyone, that, everyone that reviewed it compared it to Anne Rice novels. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Well, oh. interest is. No, I want. Is I don't, I don't want romance. I just yeah. want like the comedic yeah, take I, I on really it. Yeah, like, me too. Yeah, time, I just want, <laughs> we should just make that movie. Yeah, yeah. I want it to be funny, dude. Uh, Jason Pazowski writes in and says he never knew that Joshua Miller and Jason Patrick were brothers. I didn't either. No, nope, this is pretty either. cool. There's a near dark Lost Boys connection. This was info that we dropped on that episode. And Michelle sixty one seventy five writes in and said Jason Patrick certainly got all the looks in that family. You are correct. And Josh Miller got all the punchability. <laughs> Boom! Everybody's been saying that like all week long. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. You guys posted the picture of him older. I'm just like, I still want to punch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not it's any still, better. No, yeah. it's not. It's not. It any didn't I don't go like away. this guy. Yeah. Just based on looks alone, superficially. Yeah. He's probably a great so. guy, you're, but sure, your face he's probably a fine. really nice guy. Yeah. But your right, face says great, otherwise. He things, that's fine. I'm going to punch him if I see him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't do the convention circuit around here because yeah, yeah. like, Sean's oh, going to punch him. So we fly. Yeah, just walk right around around there, and like, pow, right there. <laughs> I'm going. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't help it. I, I really cannot help it. <laughs> you little bastard. You son of a I've bitch. I've seen Teen Witch. Oh, fuck that kid in Teen Witch. This is for fucking Teen Witch. This is for Teen Witch, you piece of shit. All right, so now we're going to go around the room, and you'll hear what we thought of it, starting with Colin. What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> so much dead air. So much dead air. <laughs> so much. <laughs> what did you think of it? Take your pick. Uh, the 1990s one okay. was not. I had read the book prior to that. I think so. Uh, Before seeing that, you you read the book. Yeah, okay. but then this time reading the book, there were scenes that I expected that were in the miniseries mm-hmm. that aren't in the in the book. I was like, oh shit! Oh, there goes this. Oh, where's you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. The miniseries is a product of its time. Maybe that's too easy of a cop out. I mean, yeah, I think right, yeah. I think what Tim Curry is doing, like obviously, I do think it, it's more than just the gifts. I think there's, you know, there's a personality there and a performance that people remember. Uh, just look it, at what he says to Georgie in the, the sewer at the first time. Like that's where I just believe in his character. It's like, oh yes, Georgie. <laughs> They float, yeah. but it like blows its load <laughs> right away. Like yeah, that's the best it is. Yeah, the top. it does. But like for that, scene it's right never there, that good right again. Though yeah. you float too. It's just it's yeah. too much. It's never that good again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the uh, the kid actors and I mean the first one feels um, very writerly as far as like you're, you're keenly aware that you're watching a stage production or you know a, 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 a 
film production. It's you know a good way mean? to, but it feels you like know, a stage, stage production. No, actually, that's a better way to describe it. It does feel like a stage it production. Because it really does. I always think of yeah. um, the uh, for Ben Hanscom when his mother and his aunt are talking in the doorway. And yeah, oh yeah, 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 that's, yeah. What I mean. that, the, that's the, exactly the, what the I. The placement yeah. of them, I'm just mm-hmm. like, wow, we're yeah. really going like. This yeah. Is yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time. We don't have a whole lot of money. We're just knocking this thing out. But I mean, I do think it is a decent adaptation of the novel um i just think that now it's been eclipsed by the new film i mean granted i think you know if you're a diehard fan of the book you know you're gonna find uh moments that are that you like "Eh, i think they did it better in this version and it's not in the new you know everything can't be everything to everybody Mm -hmm. right um, but the new version has, I think, a better ensemble of the kid actors. I think it has a lot more heart to it. Mm-hmm. I felt, you know, a, a better connection with the kids, uh, I guess, in the newer version over the old one. And it's not to slight, you know, them, you know, in, in any way. Yeah. Uh, the new Pennywise, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, it, it allayed the fears that I had because the, his approach to it is so different than than Tim Curry's, which yeah. I didn't think it was going to be possible. I thought, well, you're, this is the lines that the clown says. Yeah, how do you, you play know? a clown differently? Because right, even when yeah. you're listening to Stephen I Weber agree. do yeah. it, mm-hmm. he's doing a version of, like, this is what a clown sounds like, yeah. you know, yeah. and all this. But This the, is like the, the Jack Nicholson guard versus Heath Ledger. It argument. really is. Yeah. It really, it is, really yeah. is. So I think each one of those actors, you know, can rest at night saying, I did the best job, you know, mm-hmm. for the Absolutely. version that I was in. Yeah. Um, the... Uh, the only thing, and this is just like a personal thing, right? I'm jaded. I've seen a lot of horror movies. Yeah, you are. And it, to me, the remake was kind of like, now we're at a point where I think I've oversaturated myself with it. Book, screenplay, right? uh, original <laughs> film. You go into it, it's kind of like the experience to me was kind of like uh, you come home to your house, to your living room. But someone, while you were out, came in and rearranged some of your furniture, not all of it, and replaced some of your furniture with, you know, new furniture. This actually happens to me. I don't know about you. Well, my <laughs> wife does shit. I'm gone. So this actually happens okay. to me. So, so I know is, what you're talking this is, about. That was, okay, so this is the experience I okay. had watching it. It is like being given a guided tour of your home, your living room, uh-huh. right? But you're basically like, oh, I like what you did there. I like that you kept that where it was, okay, because that was one of my favorite. I don't know about this over here. And, you know, but it's basically like I know that's still going to be a couch. Right. This is still going to be a chair. That's still the end table. And that's this still is my the, life. So it wasn't scary at all to me. No, no, no. Not at you all. Know, uh, I, it wasn't for you either? No. The new one? No, not scary yeah. at all. But I talked not to once. some people today, where I'm sure we're going to hear something different here at the table. <laughs> I am an island, apparently. Yeah, wow. No, no, yeah. Not once was this movie scary. No. No not jump once. scares, no tension. Never. No, yeah, actually, the jump scares didn't even work. I was no. sitting there in the theater. Not scary. I was sitting there in the theater, like, listening, you know, just kind of listening to the audience, because I've been in movies still. The Ring, to this day, is the one where, like, Intense. you could feel the, the tension, Intense. and people were screaming. The Ring scared the shit out of me. And in this Intense. movie, nobody was screaming, you know, nobody was really, like, like it didn't feel. It's a different type of movie. I don't think it's the same type of scare. But I it's really in don't. The, it's in the same genre as like the Conjuring kind of stuff. And in the Conjuring, the fucking teenage girls go nuts. You know, in the in the Conjuring screenings, they didn't in this one. So it's like, okay, I don't know if it's. But again, I talked to. I've heard from people other than other than you who yeah. said that that was terrifying. The biggest sound I heard was when Eddie lifted his arm and you saw that it was broke. Yeah. That was yeah. the almost audible reaction I heard from the audience. It was yeah. so gross. It was, because it's in pieces. It was uh, almost a right angle. Like, yeah. it was yeah. so gross how it was broken. Good. Yeah. But if you can, so if you take that away, it's still, <laughs> I mean, what do you expect a horror movie to be? Scary? Scary. Was it scary? I would expect scary. No. And, but I think it's because of my own over-familiarity with the subject matter. That's what I'm chalking it up to. I don't know what you could have done to really make that scary to me. I know everything that's going to happen. And the stuff that's new, it's like, well... Uh, that's what they did in in this case. So there's no surprises really. But um, I, looking at it objectively, you know, for an audience who is less familiar with the material than I did, I thought that this movie probably does a better job than the 1990s uh, version of distilling the essence of the novel. This one felt yeah. closer if, to the novel, you even though take everything and boil it down to something. Yeah. But I'm going to say that this is this is uh, even though the 90s one sticks closer to the events of the novel, 
the modern version feels more like the novel. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Yes. I so, get it, yeah. I mean, I really liked, uh, I liked the newer version uh, enough to recommend it. You should go see it. It's a good horror movie. Uh, as far as how it would rank in Stephen King adaptations, I mean, I hate to say it, but the thing that is maybe the best thing that's been based on one of his stories is the Shawshank Redemption to me, and that's not a horror film. Yeah, that doesn't. That's so a whole saying, separate yeah, okay, thing. So yeah. Like, uh, what do you think about Misery? I really like Misery. I really like The Shining. I really like Carrie. I really like Salem's Lot. But those yeah. are maybe they're the first ones that I was exposed sure. to. You know, so I would go like those off the top of my head would be my favorite. <sighs> would this rank up there with those? I might like it better than Misery. There you go. Right. So there's where it is. So, uh, yeah, that's me and it. Holly, what'd you think of both it's all the it's all the it's all the it's. Um, well, we've already established. I was not as um, over saturated with it as you guys were. I haven't seen the nineties one since I was a kid and I did not read the book. So I was pretty fresh going into this um, with just a general knowledge of Pennywise, just from general knowledge that I think everyone has. Um, the 90s one, I'm going to be quick. I I don't think it was terrible for a 90s TV movie. I just think it should have been preceded with, um, I present to you the Midnight Society, I submit it, is how I think it should have started. <laughs> because it really felt like an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Mm-hmm. For the approval of the Midnight yeah. Society. Yeah. 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 I call this story. Steven yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. It like, really it just, does. It feels Submitted like for the approval. Yes, it feels like it, it feels like. Are you afraid of the dark? But I loved that show. Uh, that show was great. Um, so I don't think this was. I don't think the '90s one was a terrible version. Um, I just think it felt very '90s TV movie. Um, yeah. So I. I mean, yeah. I don't think it really holds up all that great, but it's not bad. If you want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. I don't know. But the it's new one. Real, real cheap at Walmart on Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. If you want to watch it, go ahead and watch <laughs> yeah, it. If you want to watch yeah, it, watch I it. I'm know. not going to say it. I'm not going to be there in your living room going, <laughs> no. <laughs> so if you want to watch it, do it. I mean, you know, live your own life. But uh, the new <laughs> one. Would you recommend it? No. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> the basic question we ask you, Holly, is would you recommend it? I love the way you deliver that. No. No. Why would I? Why would I, I Holly? This movie I bought it, Holly. I've bought worse, Sean. Oh, well, that's true. Waterworld. Um, yeah, Waterworld. You want, like, <laughs> Good Lord. City of Z or whatever it was. Oh, I did buy that. I love Tom Holland. Um, so <laughs> it's, it's a pretty movie. Anyway, um, the new one is I think is what everyone wants to really talk about. I really liked the new one a lot. I thought it was great. I I wouldn't say that I was terrified or anything, but again, I think that I'm not I don't know. I don't really get scared by movies that much, so that's not really saying anything that I wasn't terrified, but I did think it was scary. Um there were moments that I I was startled. I don't know if I really jumped, but I was startled. So I think it I, it played out um, as like a scary movie. But I just loved it. I thought the I thought the kids did a fantastic job. They were a great ensemble. Um, Bill Skarsgård was amazing. I I don't really have much bad to say about it. We talked about everything, like the pros and cons. Um, I thought it was extremely enjoyable. Um, yeah, I, I think we covered everything. I don't really have much more to throw in. I definitely recommend it, the new version. For yeah. What about the nineties? Do you recommend it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. Make sure that was the point. Yeah, nineties one. No, new one. Yes. Michaela. Yeah. Sorry, my sister just texted me while we were recording and said, and she's at the drive-in, so she's seeing it oh, at the drive-in. Right and she, now. She, right now, right now. And she t- texted me in all caps, oh my God, it was amazing. <laughs> like, and I'm so glad I saw it at the drive-in. So, but, so, okay, the 1990s one, I'm going to get out of the way off the top. I saw this movie a ton as a kid. It was one of my dad's favorite movies, and he loved it, and he loved Tim Curry in it. And so, like, all of my memories of it are all the Tim Curry scenes and nothing in between, which I feel like is how everyone on the internet thinks of this movie. Movie. <laughs> and um, then you yeah. find out there's a lot in between. And then when you go to watch it, you're like, holy shit, this is a really boring movie. Everything in between the Tim Curry stuff. And then you watch the Tim Curry scenes and like, they're good, but they're like 
so lethargic and so mm. dialed back compared to the 2017 version that they're just not even like like that scene when he popped up out of the drain in like the shower room I was like this should be terrifying and it's just like he literally like leans on his elbow yeah. in that scene and I was like that's how not scary this is is he's leaning on his elbow yeah, talking to him it. yeah like like so the 1991 I don't recommend if you've seen gifts if you've seen clips if you've seen like a YouTube compilation of Tim Curry stuff you've seen all you need to see of it like I was gonna say, he's never asked after them in the 90s when he no, just shows up he just pops like, oh, up yeah hey i'm here i'm here and i'm then here if guys he's a werewolf he's just like i'm gonna terrify you and then i'm just gonna let you go yeah it yeah. makes he no does. sense he just lets go of him and yeah. he runs away he's just like you're yeah. trying to kill these kids yeah the night but he's not <laughs> if you're someone that thinks you really like the tim curry version i you probably like have good memories of it but it probably does yeah. not live as well on the screen as it does in your so memory you yeah. challenge them to watch it again. no 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 well, no, well, no, no don't i would say don't don't well, don't if you don't ruin you your memories the 90s version i'm like when's the last time you watched yeah exactly it? Yeah. that's my reaction as well so just don't ruin your memories just don't revisit it ever because it, it will never live up to your expectations um the 2017 one um, I like I mean we've all followed the the production of this movie start to finish of like the the changes it went through and who was cast and how it was going to be made and what the clown looked like and just we we followed it Every bits That's and pieces like oh there's a new picture yeah, out today yeah, let's like, look at it like, oh he's in the he's in the pipe it looks dumb yeah like we've we've all like <laughs> we've tore it apart all of it. we've yeah. all tore it apart based on like a uh, image how do you we know watch movies and enjoy them nowadays where we're just given so much information to just rip apart before we see them you movie. just don't look at it uh, that's the thing <laughs> But see, I, I did I, look at I, it. I, I try not to look at, at it. Yeah. I try not to. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I also have watched all three seasons of Hemlock Grove. I've been aware of Bill Skarsgård for a long time. Um, Hemlock Grove, if you've not watched it, is a a horror miniseries produced by Netflix um, and produced by Eli Roth based on a, a novel. And it's it's kind of a Twin Peaks kind of situation with werewolves and vampires and like some more sci-fi elements. There's like a company that is like genetically engineering people in this town, but it's a small town and people are getting murdered. So that's like the Twin Peaks side of it. And um, uh, Bill Skarsgård is um, like, like a vampire, like high school kid that from a rich family that like can just do whatever the fuck he wants. Cause his family's rich and they run this town and he's great. Um, and it's, it's a great series. Um, unfortunately he is better than the script they give him. Um, but it's, it's still the first season is, season is definitely worth a watch. But um, him in this movie, uh, uh, unpopular opinion, I think I actually prefer his portrayal of Pennywise to Tim Curry's. I really I do. do. Like, he's yeah. more energetic. He has more of a presence. He's more menacing. Like, he fills the space more. Like, his scale and his scope when he is on the screen is huge. No matter, like, you know, sometimes they actually do, like, a thing where he does actually physically fill the whole room. But one of the scenes that really stood out to me is there's a scene where um, Bev is in the bathroom and she kills her dad and she turns around to leave and he grabs her by the throat and picks her up and it's a jump scare and it actually made me jump and that was one of the only times in the whole movie I actually jumped because like I thought the tension was over with for that scene and then it turns it and, was startling yeah. yeah and he in that scene he is huge like he is big yeah um, they shoot him big yeah they really scene. do and it's he's not a remarkably angles. big man it's yeah. a hero shot for a villain yeah mm -hmm. and um, Bill Skarsgård and myself we were born in 1990 when the original came out. And we I'm were sorry, 20 Bill Skarsgård was born in 1990? Yes, here's the thing. We were born in 1990 when the original came out, and we are 27 now when the new one came out. We are the 27-year... Uh, yeah. As much, as much as, like, um, you know, how you feel about new versus old and all yeah. that stuff, I love... The this came out in 1990. It's yeah. 27 years later. Now yeah. this is coming out. Comparing that to the it comes around every like 27, 30 years. Yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, yeah. It's I, great. I do too. I'm just like, I love it. it's like a new iteration of it. And he's just coming around again. <laughs> love and I, it. I love that me and Bill Skarsgård uh, also are 27 when it comes around again. Like I love that. Like, you know. um, but uh, and also when when they do the chapter two of 2017, it will be 2016, so it'll be present day. So that will will, that will be, be interesting. No, because it it's like 1989 is it when the movie takes place. Movie. So it'd be 2016. Uh, uh, damn it all to hell. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say 30 years later. Yeah. Be, nah, uh, it's, it's never like an even number. No. When it comes back. Uh, the 2017 one has a huge emotional core that the 1990 one doesn't. Um, mm -hmm. The kids are just so relatable and so loving. And I feel like a lot of times when you watch like um, slasher movies, you are really rooting for the killer to kill these people that are basically fodder for being murdered. Yeah, so much that um, we get people that are just not likable. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. The, and the kids in this movie are so lovable to the they point are. that you don't want Pennywise to win. 
and but at the same time, that's what you're here for, you know. So it is a real, real battle of your heart. But I think, I think 2017 is. I just want to go out and buy all the merchandise right now. I love <laughs> this movie so much, and if they I had plushies of all the kids. I'd be like, oh, oh yeah, like I just want to buy, like I just want to be covered really head to toe in merchandise right now for this movie. I loved it so much. I can't wait to see it again. I want to like share my love with the world for this movie. So I would definitely recommend the 2017 version. Sean, how'd you feel about it? Uh, I'm going to preface all of this by saying that the 2017 version, uh, realizing it again, we, this has been uh, 24 hours since we were digest. We're still digesting the new it movie yeah. and what that all means. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've come to realize that the new it movie was not made for me. Was not. I know this story. I know the 1990 series. I know the book and this movie. I, and I should have realized this earlier. Like I was not gonna gonna go into this movie and um, enjoy it. I don't think I was gonna because I know everything that's gonna happen. I know these kids are not in danger. I know where this story goes. I know what Pennywise is gonna do to these kids, and I know how they're gonna react to him. This movie's not made for me. I'm too familiar with this material, and it's not. It just didn't end up surprising. It didn't end up. Uh, doing anything? It's it, it, like we said earlier. It's not scary for me because, like, I know nothing's gonna happen to these kids. Like, it would have been a really uh, curveball if, like, you know, one of the kids had died. But I know they can't do that because, you know, they're the losers club. There's there's just the seven of them, and they have to grow up and get old, and they have to deal with them when they're forty years old. So I don't know. Looking back on it now, I don't know what I was expecting with this new movie because it's not it's not for me. Yeah. I, I shouldn't. It's I shouldn't have expect. I shouldn't have gone in expecting as much as I did for this new movie. Um, I'll tell you what it did right though. The kids that I got for this new movie are awesome. Mm-hmm. I, I some of them aren't getting aren't given as much to do, and it's really hard in like a two hour and fifteen minute movie to give everybody enough to like be satisfying. Like Mike Hanlon in the mo- new movie isn't. He's not, you know, they again, they take away his part of being the historian of Derry, so he's not, like, present as much as the rest of them. Stan is also not as in there as most. He's still in there, but not as much as, like, Eddie, Ben, Bev, and Bill, and even Richie. Richie, that fucking part, like, again, I'll go back and watch this movie just for that part, because they do enough funny shit with that. The rock fight, uh, him playing the trumpet. That like was funny. The fucking, in the background like, for so long. Him stealing it from the guy in the parade and just playing it in the background of the shit that's going that on. That was fucking hilarious. Like, they got some <laughs> stuff really right with these characters, and it's just fun. And I like them. Um, the problem I had, again, like I said before, it's just like the magic is not there with these people. Like There's that whole mystical force with the kids being together that just doesn't feel present with them. It's like there's there's nothing unifying them and like Colin said there's just like I'm gonna kill it like there's just certain pieces missing from these characters it feels like they're unified but it, I see what you're saying there's no magic in the unified yeah, in the unification no ma- yeah there's yeah. no magic in that um, mm-hmm. it's more of a Goonies situation it is I guess so yeah. I, yeah. Feel, I feel like there was a unifying force in the book even more so to me and maybe it's just me in the 1990 series um, it felt like that um, especially when they go in the sewer and everything um, maybe it's the atheist version of it <laughs> in the new self reliance, uh, we are going to take. Um, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, there is no magical force. Um, I also, I guess, so, uh, I because, and it all comes together like we watched tonight with like Beverly. She she's like the one, and it feels like there's you know again the magic that's going on when she takes that slingshot and shoots him in the head, and it's because they believe in the things that are it's the childish things they believe in, mm-hmm. and because they are kids, it's the childish things they believe in that defeat it, and I like that is because it's because they are kids that they can beat him that first time. Mm-hmm. It even says in the, in the books because because they got older and they grew out of that stuff and that stuff they don't believe in anymore. It's like they have a harder time uh, fighting this evil because they are kids, because they're believing it like the battery acid out of the inhaler works, the silver out of the slingshot works. I really, really enjoyed that from the 1990 series. Um, And since that's the only other it film version I have to go on, like I, I recommend the 90s version just because of that. Because I think you get that magic from those kids. Um, I think everything's a little 
more flat in the 1990 series. They aren't as fleshed out as they are. Um, the characters are definitely more enjoyable in the 2017 one. I mean, it's just it's more fun with them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you get a, f- a few more things from the 1990 series um, as far as them. What what brings them all together to defeat it? Mm-hmm. And I like that a lot. And I like um, them all coming together to do that. Um, so I I definitely I still recommend the 1990 series. I think it's still worthwhile of going back to and revisiting. Um, uh, I'll see what I think about that after watching the second half of it because I don't remember as much about the second half when they're adults. It's worse, and that—that's what everybody keeps saying. But uh, I think worse. I'm gonna watch within the next week. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch that second half and find out for myself. Um, 2017, those kids are great. I think it's all cast very well. Again, some of them aren't given as much to do as others, but they're a fun group of kids, and I really like them. Um, I don't. Uh, uh, to compare the portrayals of Pennywise, I think like you get some with Tim Curry, you get some with Bill Skarsgård, and I think they're equally. Uh, um, there's a lot there for each of them that you can appreciate. Like I really like Bill, what Bill Skarsgård does, does with it. He feels more like loose, more evil, more. It's just like anything can happen with that character, and I really like that. Um, Certain things with Beverly I don't like in the 2017 version. I think she needs to be more part of the group and not, like, the thing they're all chasing after. Cause she's, yeah, I agree with that's that. That's a good she, point, yeah. yeah. She's very important in the books and even in the first one. And I think she could – it would have been really cool to see that um, in the new version, especially the way they defeat him. I have a real problem with them just, like, beating him up until he goes away. That feels like what they do in the new version. Like, mm-hmm. let's hit him with pipes until he falls into a hole. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was more the the fact that like they weren't afraid of him on I, top and, and of that. Right, well, I get yeah. that, but there. Uh, so he lost also, his power because they weren't afraid. Yeah. Of him. Didn't yeah. it also feel like he wasn't admit? Like I got that feeling, yeah. even though he didn't admit it. Yeah, no. But yeah. they had the whole thing where said you're you're afraid. That's yeah, you know I they had a right. whole monologue yeah, yeah, where he, they explained he says that it a lot where he's just like I feed off your fear. But yeah, that's also but I, like my- there was one scene where he grabbed somebody and like. Ah, I think it was Bev. They, they, she wasn't she scared wasn't, of him. Yeah, wasn't afraid enough. She wasn't yeah. afraid until he showed her the dead lights. It's like, now you'll be afraid. And then his mm-hmm. mouth opens up and there's dead yeah. lights in there. And that's when yeah. she's floating and everything. And I liked his bargaining, too, at the I, end. Yeah. Which I don't recall if that's in the story. The, the book? He doubt, in the book, he doubts himself on what he can do. Like yeah. He starts to believe, like, am I able to be defeated by these? Because like, yeah. I've never felt... Never he's had to feel, deal with Yeah, he's before. feeling feelings he's never felt. But that Fear. bargaining scene was yeah. pretty cool, where it yeah. was like, tell you what, if you let me have this one, I'll let the rest of you live for now, or yeah. whatever, you know? Yeah. Mm. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I, I had a thing, and I wasn't... Nope, forgot it now. Um... Sorry about that. that no, that's all right. I yeah, think I left so. off on Beverly. I think I wanted. Uh, I think we could have gotten more from her in this. I wanted the magic of all of them being able to come together and just not, like I said, not just beating the shit out of it and him going away. Mm-hmm. I think there's more that could have been done with that. Um, I think everyone, I everyone did their parts really well for the new one. Um, the tonal shifts are a little weird. Um, Oh, there was one big point I wanted to make about the new one. Now I forgot it, though. Uh, I don't know. It's not... It wasn't... Uh, I wasn't completely impressed by the new one. Wasn't... Uh, like I said, it wasn't made for me. I know too much about it, and I just don't... Uh, there was no... Uh, I wasn't surprised by anything, I guess. Um, I like the actor portrayals, um, so... <sighs> to recommend it or not, I mean, I think... Would you recommend it, Sean? Yes. Okay. I think I have to. I think that's just like because if you if you just look at it like at base compared with the movies we get now and everything, like it's compared if you to don't it, have to do it politically. I'm just saying, not. do you did you like the movie enough to say you should you also, friend, should watch this movie? No. Holy You'll be wow. disappointed. Smokes. If if I was to look at someone and be like, if if I thought that person was like me, I'm just like, no, you'll be disappointed by this movie. But that but the person like you has also read the books and knows all this knowledge. Yeah. But your lay person that knows nothing. But he said without yeah. without okay. any yes, that's caveats the, that's how and everything. You're doing it, right, if yeah. you're doing without caveats <laughs> and everything, I have plenty of caveats for this movie. But if you're just like, would you recommend this movie? I'd be like For me, if I was just being honest, no. Right. I wouldn't. Well, there it is. 
Wouldn't do it. That's it. Shocker. See, you never know how these <laughs> things are going to end up. The guy who brought the movie. I'll, well, he did wreck I just said I want to be buried in merchandise for this movie. <laughs> I, know, like, I, I want to be like smothered alive <laughs> in merchandise for this movie. I might never watch this movie again. <laughs> oh my God, that my heart. Like, I will watch this. I want, I really, I'm going to go see, never watch this movie again. I'm going to go see it again tomorrow. Like, I'm going tomorrow to see it again. I want, I can't not wait to see it wow. again. Wow. Yeah, you guys, I might never watch this You guys again. can't yeah. exist in the same yeah, room. I guess like, yeah, yeah, this I is a division, civil war. Right here. Not, there's not wow. enough in that movie to bring me back to yeah. it. I might never watch that again. Yeah. Who wow. could have seen Camera this happening when we started the show tonight? I'm shocked, yeah. I know. Well, again, well, we're 24 hours off of this, and I'm <laughs> yeah. well, let, working through it. Well, I'm, listeners, you too can be covered in merchandise. <laughs> yes. Holly and I will shower you in merchandise. <laughs> we're going to shower you with merchandise. Go ahead to, can head, we make a head to our Instagram. Video where I'm just, and you're just like throwing shit at me, and I'm just like, yeah. oh, yes. Pennywise. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Head to our Instagram to find out how you can win <laughs> some fun Pennywise merch. Yes, yeah. we will shower yeah. you in it. I will, I, will, I will take a couple choice pieces from my staff of merchandise I'm rolling around in <laughs> and shower you listener in it. <laughs> so there you go. We are go. rolling in merch. <laughs> if this goes well, who knows? We might do it again. Might in, it. Yeah, in 2019 when the yeah. next one comes out, we'll definitely do it again. <laughs> More Pennywise We'll stuff. watch the second version of this. You're, uh, you're going to watch yeah. the second one even though you didn't like the first one? Oh yeah, I'll watch the second one. <laughs> you're glutton but, for punishment? Well, no, because it's not the first movie. Like I'm not re-watching the first one again. I'm watching the second one. There's a different area to cover. So you have faith one. it'll be better? I, I he just needs to see how it's done. I have to, and plus, yeah, I again, like I said, huh? there's different areas to cover. Like they're adults, and there's just different stuff they have to deal with. So, I mm-hmm. mean, he just has to. The very possibility mm-hmm. that yeah. movie could be way this better. Is the than man, where if it has the name Halloween in the title, I'm, he it, has. He to does see love it. sequels. Yeah. He does love sequels as well. What if yeah. they say it's set in L.A.? Are you like definitely on board then? Oh my, like, god. Oh my god! No, yeah. Sean <laughs> is gonna fucking love the sequel. I'm calling it now. He's gonna love it. I very well might, and that's possible that I just love. Even more than the original, maybe very possible. All right, so we got to get out of this. Uh, this is the longest podcast we've had in many a year. Now hey, we covered Man two movies: of Steel, the three-hour Man of Steel, episode? the three-hour Man of Steel that put everyone to sleep. Hey, uh, we covered two movies though. That's very so. true. We did. This yeah. is a, this is yeah. This it's is an experimental double, double fun freak it's a double show. Double fun freak show. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> is a lot to cover. I don't. Another, we another didn't bingo cover square. Everything. No, no. Right. We, this no. Maybe on part two. Or, dear more. listener, if you thought of something that we just didn't mention, let us know. Yes, we right. talk about it next week. Tell us what you thought of it mm-hmm. and yeah. it. No, but it. All the it's. All, All the it's. it's. And who All you agreed it's. with yes. and who you didn't, because we yeah. want to know. Yeah. Yeah, so, because I came to a shocking realization <laughs> that I will not recommend this movie. Yeah. That's right. How do you feel about Or if that? you're like me and you want to be buried in merchandise Bury for this movie. Buried in Pennywise merch. Yeah, I want it all. You you bring it all. Colin and so, I liked it. I know. I, <laughs> I will say. Like, I will watch it again. I will own it. Yeah, I, want I will plushies. own it for sure. I'm not own this movie. Oh, I will yeah. for sure I will have a copy of it. But yeah. I have a copy of Life. Okay, so <laughs> next know. week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by... Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> testing you. Yeah. And it worked. Michaela, right. what are we watching next Follow week? You. Speaking of sequels. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to watch American Psycho 2. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this one, too, Sean. I can't oh. wait until next Mila week. Kunis. That's right. American and, and Psycho. And William Shatner. And yes. Shatner? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember this movie Shatner's in it. Bill I haven't Shatner. seen it, so there you go. Congratulations. Uh, I have not seen it. We've seen it. It's a movie that Colin hasn't seen. <laughs> That's right. We hit it. Oh, my God. I've seen this movie. It might be awesome. Yeah. Who knows? We'll find out next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark.